Man, that uh that string yesterday was uh yeah. <laughs> Good old nine hour stream. Yeah, hold on, let me let me just uh, let Mayo know real quick. How's it going, everyone? We're hopefully finishing this game today. Probably will. Time for hunts. Oh yes, all oh, the hunts we unlocked last stream. So should we just take care of that stupid dust quest now? Mm, I mean, at this point, considering what we're gonna probably gonna do, just I mean, because I items. mysteriously might have these items in my inventory for some reason. I mean, you know, I don't know how that's gonna happen, but so yeah. I don't even remember where to go for that dust quest. Where, where, where am I going? Uh, remember where you got the diamond armor the first time in the Western Center if we didn't get the wind vane yet? Oh. Yeah, that's kind where you're supposed to go first. The Western Sand? Yeah. You're gonna have to remind me where that is, because I don't remember. That was so long ago, and I don't think it marks it anywhere, so I was just like, uh-huh. Right, open the map when you're in the Western Sand. Oh, hell yeah, look at how many fucking swords he has! Oh, dude, he's kind of like Zoro, but with four swords. <laughs> well, more like three swords and a dagger. What is what is your skill set? Arise, holy bone crusher, one thousand needles, sights unseen, stamp. Um, he seems pretty useful. Making sure I got my MP back. Uh, see that where? small. Remember, you see that small cutout part of the Western Stand in one of the zones? Yeah. Yeah, that's where it is. And not like the one nearest to the safe crystal. I mean. <laughs> I'm so glad we have this stupid sword. So is the Excalibur better than a katana? Honestly, it depends on what what equips you feel like using and what enemy you're gonna face, honestly. Well, I know this is probably worthless if I'm fighting Yezmat. Yeah, obviously. Apparently it's weak to darkness. Like, I mean, if you're gonna be killing undead, you're like, just go for it, have fun with Excalibur. <laughs> Where is the urn in this area? I don't think we ever got that. Uh, the Western Sand? Oh, I don't think there should even is an urn. As far as I remember. You know what I never did? Let me make a very important thing happen. Gambit number four. Fo... Where is flying? Now that you can do it. <laughs> I 
Does it keep doing telekinesis, or...? As long as there's a flying enemy, he'll just keep doing it. Let's try it out. Yeah, nice. Okay. That makes things so much nicer. The Wind Globe. Missing anything else here? Nope, that's pretty much it. Of course, this fight's a joke now because of what your level is. <laughs> I mean... It was gonna be a joke regardless. Alright, so where are we going? <laughs> you have to go... You're basically just gonna be going back to town. You'll see. You'll see what to do. I don't even remember who gave this quest to us. Honestly, What's we probably should have just done this immediately. <laughs> I was just gonna see how long, how, if if you were gonna try and go for the grind or not. Otherwise, yeah, I would have just made you do it. God no. <laughs> I don't hate myself enough to do that, even with the time speed. <laughs> kind of weird they never gave the guest character his mist. Even just one bar. Redis seems like a really cool character, though. Like, damn. I'm happy to have him in the party. So I guess he is a Shikari? Uh, I mean, I guess, technically. Did you know he's called Red Ass because he has a red ass? Oh my god. See, look at his pants. It's pink. Pink is just, you know, a hue of red. Game theory. Right, whatever. Just go back to Ravenaster. <laughs> Yo, Zeno, you missed some good stuff yesterday. You could tell what sort of music. Yeah, we went into the crystal of bad times. The most confusing dungeon, I think, in any Final Fantasy game. Really says a lot. Anchor? Oh, that's... Oh. Yeah. They just put that everywhere now? No, they put it in the specific place that you can actually travel to. That's cool. Yo, I murdered Ultima, we did Gilgamesh, uh, we got revenge on some Bangas. We made Bangas and Mash out of them. Right, you have to go to the West Gate though. Okay. Um, what other things did we do? We got X-Death, got Shimazi, we got... We got chaos this. through the longest battle, one of the longest battles ever. Oh man, that chaos battle was real good. Everyone has their own way of doing that battle. Mine was, yeah, yeah, let's just use a thousand needles. Oh, that boss? Yeah, no, uh, I was warned about that because I was just like, yeah, we're not doing that yet. Well, we're gonna, I want to finish this before the fiesta starts, you know, so we're gonna be doing... Basically, all the hunts today, doing two dungeons, and then the super bosses will be tomorrow. You want to see me I... fight Yizmat and that one boss? Oh, I passed it, didn't I? I totally yeah, you did. Passed, yeah. You passed the NPC. They were just there gathered. We'll fight it. Don't, wor don't worry. Which boss was it? It'll be the one, the green knuckles. Green knuckles. Grimshot. That's his name. We have only a couple more espers to get. I think we've gotten every optional one so far that we can. Mm -hmm. You were saying we could take on the hellworm now. I, I really want to try that can try. I'm like, I'm not gonna stop you if you want to do it. Alright, yo, Zeno, do you think we can do it? We can try it once and see what happens. I assume if I unlock it, it's unlocked forever and then we can just come back. 
Uh, uh Hellworm. Should be. should be. If it's not, eh, whatever. He can just easily unlock it anyway. Okay, so we take this, and we're going where? I already have the key. Yeah, where, where are we taking the, uh, the thingy? Remember that place that had the ton- that had the- that had the constant sandstorm? That you also ran away from early on in the game? Um... I don't remember where it was. Worm's Nest? Is that it? Mm-hmm. I can't wait to slap this boss once and make it die. <laughs> the fight against Ultima was interesting. Still not really sure if it's meant to be Ultima or Ultimicia, but... <laughs> I don't think so personally, considering like it's also I think a giant T-Rex, exact exactly like I saw and then ran away from. <laughs> so if I came in here without this item, what happens? You literally would not be able to run through. The Earth Tyrant. Oh my god, this thing is melting. I said this is a really early one. All right, but the good boss. But it's a pretty much a jade thing because if you so, want to farm for items later you could you would have a harder time because you killed him let me ask you an important question then isn't was that the earth dragon from dix the one that's just in the opera house chilling there listening to classical music uh may, ultima's gimmick was that she just that. makes it cycle through things you can't do You know, she likes making sure you die. Oh, no. Hit. Don't do that. <laughs> um, okay. Now what? That quest is done? Uh, no, I think you have to go back to them. At this point, I'm pretty sure. I no think more if not, otherwise you just go to Mont Blanc. Never mind, there's still sandstorms. I mean, there might be a sandstorm now, but it's a less of a chance considering you've killed an Earth Tyrant now. It's the ultimate debate because you can beat it really early, but it's like, but now you, but then all of a sudden sandstorms won't happen as much. So it's like, oh wait, I need the oh, anti here. I just thought they Shit. stop all together. No, it's just a really. Oh, I would have done this immediately now. then. I, I wouldn't have cared. I mean, it really does. I just, I just found it funny to make you deal with the anti stunt. <laughs> Early game. I just found it funny to make you get scared of them, <laughs> but now you're not, not anymore. The elementals. Yep, you're no longer fear them. <laughs> Terrifying. Now it's just more like bash them with my stick, my holy stick. Oh, no one's oh. here. I guess that was it. All right. Yeah. You can go to Mont Blanc if you want a small reward, though. <laughs> I'll take the tiny reward. Not now, though. We'll, uh... Probably check where those hunts have to have us go. Are there any in Ravenaster? Let's find out. The 
Aerodome, Bajera, Bromness, Ariat, Jahara, Bromness. Um, say let's go to the Aerodome. Have we been to the Aerodome? Did we go there like really early on in the game? It's been that's so long. For, that's where you go for the airships. Probably mentioned this is our level, if you're curious. Mysteriously, everyone will be 99 after this stream. Don't don't ask. I don't know how that's happening, huh? That'll be weird. Um, no, we don't want to go in here, right? We want to talk to Moogle. No. I thought you could just warp to whatever, um, the NPC game. A traveler. Good name. Just in any aerodrome? <laughs> They're literally in every aerodrome, so it doesn't matter. Oh, it's a little kitty. Death Gaze, what a shitty enemy in other games. It's on the airship. I thought you were free of the airships. No. I'm not surprised. That's honestly the most fitting location considering six. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, seeing their concern what dialogue this the, these parents say after the hunt, like I'll have to Look, look at this shit. Look what they're offering to, to give each other if they lose. What the hell kind of rich family is this? Best kind. Right, this is an elite mark, considering, you know... I guess they're not really taking it very seriously. Considering this kid is supplying it, they're just like, alright, any airship? Yeah, it doesn't matter what airship. Have fun, though. I will. I already know it's gonna cast Doom, and then run away, and then cast Doom and run away. By the way, just to make it easier for you, it doesn't matter which type of cab cabin you do. Oh, too late. <laughs> Is there, like, a special cutscene happening? What's going on? No, this cutscene always happens. You'll know when Death Gay spawns. Uh, one fun hunt was that stupid one. What was that one that was really bad? Uh, you mean the one in the that in the that? You mean the one in the necro hall? The necro hall. That one sucked. That should have been elite. Like I said you'll get a cut. You'll get a special cutscene when you're inside the airship about it. She got around the walk around the airships more. What? Oh. No invisible chest this time. <laughs> They're just. What do I do? Go home. You can just finish the flight unless if you don't get the cutscene, you can just go back. It w no, it was it wasn't the tower like the, go the golem. It was the one of the Oversoul enemies. Yes, Joker had a lot of fun with that scythe. <laughs> scythe was uh, very rude.
No, it didn't happen. Did I... Alright. Well, like I said, you'll know, like, the NPCs will have a dialogue, like, Oh my god, something's attacking the ship! So just keep going on the airship? Yeah, pretty much. Out of curiosity, what's the spawn chance on this? Do you actually want to know what the spawn chance is? Yeah, is it stupid? 1%. Is it really? It's like 1-4% or so, though. Yeah. Why? <laughs> because the mechanic for this is stupid. Alright, well we have money to spare or whatever. I'm gonna become their most common uh, person on, on flights. How long does this normally take to spawn? Uh, it depends. But I'll say it depends. I feel like this is just a scam that this family did to make me buy plane tickets. So, it's not a scam, but you can tech- you can actually increase the likelihood of encountering him. Okay, how's that? Every time you don't get him to spawn, you have to talk to the kid again. Okay. For some reason, every failed attempt talking to him doubles your chance of encountering him for whatever reason. Thanks, kid. Now it's a 4% chance or something, or 2%? Pretty much, it goes up to a max of 64%. <laughs> That's fun. Man, I love uh, RNG manipulation. I hope you're keeping track of this percentage, because I'm not. Oh, I think it's yeah. happening. You'll run into it eventually. Yep, there, here you go. Yep, that, that happened pretty fast. Volunteer to fight it, or do nothing. No, green knuckles, why? Your knuckles, please. Honestly, by this point in the game, why would you even ride the airship? Break down, you'll be a hero. Luckily, I have the holy sword. Which way to the cabins? <laughs> Come on, chickens out again. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I was expecting pretty good odds on this without doing the kid because of, uh, you know, that. You missed, uh, Zeno, we got a 5% chance to spawn the hardest rare enemy in the game, and I killed it. Uh, that was a fun time. <laughs> yeah, that thing kept killing me. Not level 99 Chocobo! He tried to come. He tried to kill this Mazino, you know. The one the on the way to Gilgamesh? <laughs> and do that. Oh, the worst part is I knew he would eventually spawn too. <laughs> yeah, it kept popping up every time I died. Where are you? 
Right, have fun. This is the only time you'll be able to have your party out on the airship like this. Immune? What? Immune? How are you immune? You already put up the tailing. <laughs> Alright, you better not insta kill any of my enemies. No, he's not immune to holy. He just put up the tailing real fast. <laughs> well, it's pretty impressive. Goddamn. That goddamn death gaze. I didn't expect this. Fuck it, let's play Zeretus. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, we're doing tons of damage now, now that he has the paling down. One of those enemies, I wish you could zoom the camera out a little bit more. Yeah, you that doesn't zoom the camera out. I don't know why I did that. Yeah. Oh, you can really do this. Does this help? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, wait, we're healing it. No. Hey, cast reverse on itself. Surprise. <laughs> Disease. No, no disease. Up oh, there, scourges. <laughs> okay. You know what? Hold on. Uh. <laughs> um. Yeah. Fuck it. Let's just one piece his ass. <laughs> okay. Really? That was it. <laughs> fuck you, game. Congratulations, you did one level two limit. <laughs> Whatever, it was enough. <laughs> Bosh was the only survivor after all. Bosh was the only one to get freeze. Truly, he is the hero we all needed. <laughs> he'll scream, who are you? And he'll say, I'm Captain Bosch. Von, that is. Stealing the glory. Don't listen to Von Doer's lies. Fun times. Easy boss. I feel gypped. I mean, considering what weapons you have. They call him Vash the Stampede. I like how everyone's just back to normal. It's like, yeah. There he is. Hey kid, I killed it. Alright, I think you were at like 16% encounter chance for it, I think. Maybe, I don't know. That was not worth it. I think I spent more money getting the plane tickets. <laughs> Where to next? Oh, well, let's look at your primer. What's next on the list that you want to kill? I mean, Mark, did you see what the mother and father were saying we would, they would buy for each other? Like... But Jerbo it is, we're just gonna go in order. Like, the dad was like, yo, I'll buy you, I'll buy a summer home for us, I'll buy an airship for you, and I'll buy a hundred black chocos, because why the hell not?
Can you not go to Bujerbo? Oh, there it is. Okay. It's in a weird spot. It is a sky city. This is... Let me look at that again. Yo. Right near the, the uh, tank stop. Okay. Many years ago? Are, are you a ghost? I mean, does he seem like a ghost to you? Yes, he does. In a creepy alleyway. Look, Why is there even a fence here? Like, this doesn't go anywhere. Look at this. Yes, this guy is very clearly a ghost. No, he can't be a ghost. A ghost. He died to Diabolos. So, Diabolos is the boogeyman in 12. I mean, for Bujerbins, at least. Going into the Luzu Mines again. Only children taking hats. Well, why didn't you take your hat off? Hey, man, kids aren't that smart. So I have to wear a hat? No, you don't have to do that. Man. For how dumb the spawn conditions can be in this game, you missed a good <laughs> opportunity. I mean, they don't even... Wearing different armor doesn't even change any look, any look anything about your looks anyway. The look changes very slightly, you get a nice hat. <laughs> um... I get the crystal. It's gonna be faster if I take the crystal. Probably, honestly, yeah. And yeah, no, Xena, I don't know. I have no idea which mark you're thinking of. Probably thinking of Fenrir. He was saying earlier. No, Fenrir is pretty easy to at least get to. Thinking of probably the next hunter gonna be facing though. I'm making it a point that we're doing all the hunts. Because they're fun. Maybe not use map. Like, what we're doing use map, I meant the... That part might not be fun. But we have to do it. It's like a rite of passage, almost. I mean, for this game, yeah. <laughs> I wish new was just new from Chrono Trigger. That'd be great. <laughs> if, if only. If only. So it's right there. <laughs> Bon looks like a child, right? I don't think he constitutes as a child. He also, he's also not wearing a hat. You don't know that. He might be wearing a hat. In fact, actually... He's wearing a helmet that's basically a hat. A metal hat. <laughs> oh, there it is. You don't look nearly as cool as you do in 8. Oh, he really doesn't. Diablos is like one of the most interesting. God damn it. Ash! I hate that, how people are so far away you can't do stuff sometimes in this game. Yep, it's really annoying. Man, they really want to give everything disease. Yep, <laughs> welcome to the end. Welcome to the hunts now. <laughs> Also, Vaughn is dead. That's fine. We could live with that. There was no cure. <laughs> Good job, Redis. You killed Diablos. You did it. You saved the children. I'd play a game where he plays Redis. 
I mean, considering you can't even play as him in Record Keeper yet, you know. Him and uh, Fossler will probably end up coming out in the same event. Give it like a couple months in Japan, because they're running out of characters to add, so it's like, well, you're gonna have to add them eventually. <laughs> Disease is a very, very, very evil status where, let's say, I'm going the wrong way. If you get hit by a status ailment, which, well, this one in particular, if you get hit by disease, uh, when you lose damage, that's your max HP permanently until you get rid of disease. If you die with disease and get respawned, you still got disease. Nice try. And you'll end up just having one HP forever until you get rid of it. <laughs> You need, uh, forget what the spell was called that we have now. I went the wrong way again. You, you went you went right back around. <laughs> well, serum is the item. I'm thinking of the magic spell. Or it's, cle it's cleanse. As Lucky kept trying to tell me, which made me think I didn't have any for the longest time. Yeah, do you have any, uh, do you have any vaccines on you? And I was like, I don't have any vaccines. Hey, hey, it's hey. They're similar in meaning enough. Serum similar in meaning, but when I'm looking for vaccine in my inventory and there are none, I'm just like, oh. Oh, it did used to be vaccine. All right, you get a pass then. That's fair. <laughs> All right. You win this round. What are the odds I can get into Yezmat with, uh, with someone like Redis in my party? That doable? Uh, no. Oh. Can I, can I bring any guest characters? I'm just gonna be blunt, no. No. Oh. <laughs> Damn, all that extra damage. Yeah, no. You, like... in instead of you finding out later, I'm just gonna tell you right now, no. No, there's no guests allowed. So lame. All right, ghost boy. Watch, he's gonna be a ghost. There's a cutscene and everything. Demon shield and a Zeus mace. I already have a better mace. Oh my god, he went to Hogwarts! <laughs> that explains everything! These new wizards existed in Final Fantasy. Of course they exist, there's magic. I don't know what you're talking about, no such thing exists. Do you think Bon has magic? Yes, he does. But does he know how to use it? No, of course not. <laughs> Actually, what I should do... In case it's ever needed, I'm gonna do a smart. Put that there, um, put that there. Put that there. In fact, I'm just gonna change this one to any. Oh, we did pick up Shelga, that's right. Yeah, I remember we would make decisions for that. In case it needs to happen there. Quick Last save. night was such a blur because I was just like, I'm gonna get out of this hellhole. It's everyone who goes through it the first time. <laughs> oh, no one likes the Great Crystal. <laughs> the only thing good about it is that it has, it has a decent boss fights and good magic in it. <laughs> and good items. Yeah, it did. We got, we got Haska. Are there anything you recommend I give to uh, Bosch? Like, I gave him Cure because I don't want him to have all his magic used. Honestly, it depends. Like, for me, personally, I prefer, I like having, like, I don't... In my playstyle is I don't debuff the enemy as much unless I absolutely have to. Mostly just going for, like, Hestega, Protega, Shoga. 
maybe both of them really need it, not really regen, and sometimes bravery and faith, otherwise it's just attacking with whatever they can attack with. I'm gonna do... only give two party leader bravery, because Vaughn's mostly attacking. Yeah, like, that's just my personal playstyle, it's up to you what you want to do, because... I just feel like if the slow doesn't put get put on, Bosch is just gonna waste his time constantly trying to do it. Do you think I should take it off? Honest, in my opinion, yes. Because like we've seen what happens with it when he keeps keeps trying to put on slow. For everything else, the only one I'm also kind of eh about it is Bubble, but that's also personal preference because of how long. I think Bubble I like it. I, it doesn't last very long, I've noticed. However, I think I want to keep it on anyway. Um, any other magic you recommend? It all just depends on what they have access to, honestly. Like, obviously, for a black mage, you want to be able to use, like, the top spells of it for the most otherwise. Should I give him Siphon, or is it really not worth it? Mm. That's a hard choice, because you're gonna, because you can buy ethers, but then at the same time... Mm. I'm gonna do... Yeah, I think I'm gonna make one, just in case. If he runs out... That's one of the things I like about the job system. It's like you do have a good degree of freedom, just like in MMOs, in terms of how you want to play. At least most MMOs. Technics, I really feel like it's better if I just put them on myself. Honestly, yes. The only time I ever really use Technics extensively it's like if I want to use like telekinesis or soul eater during like the chaos fight, basically. So thankfully, I'm pretty sure you can edit the gambits for techniques like expose, wither, add, or stuff like that. Like if the enemy stat is cer a certain amount, but eh, you don't really have to worry about that at the moment, because you know you can just poke everything. <laughs> Markram, no, the Great Crystal is not a safe crystal hunt. The Great worse. Crystal is ugly. Don't go back through the VOD, which I know you like going back through those VODs. I'm gonna warn you now, just don't do it. You can, but you were warned. It's a lot of me pausing the game, looking at a map, going, Jesus, this map is terrible. And then complaining that it was awful even with the map. Yeah, no, it's so bad. So sad. Bad dad. That's that's an old reference. God, that really is an old reference. Jesus. Two in Grammys. Please be in the same area. They are not in the same area. Okay, they're one area apart. The entire thing was the bad part. Y yeah, no, the entire net latter half of the stream yesterday was just the great crystal for the most part. It, if I'm in that crystal, and it's... Alright, after I defeat Shimazi is, like, the point where it's, like, Stop! Stop what you are doing! The only good part is... The Ultima fight. <laughs> the Ultima fight was good. Let's see if you got anything interesting. I mean, the only other thing you can do with, at the merchants is sell the stuff you got in the Great Crystal. <laughs> We never did that. We have 99 Arcana, should I just sell this all? Honestly, you can probably get this Arcana's back easily. I don't care, it doesn't matter at this point. Yeah, whatever. I guess I could just sell everything, right? For reasons? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for reasons. <laughs> I'll keep the greens.
never know when we have to backtrack and need a chocobo. That sandalwood shop, though. Yep. That man talking to all those NPCs words is so nice. Why do we need to go through that area again? Just for the the one side quest? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> that's only that's the only reason. There's nothing else in that area. Yeah, no, there's literally nothing else. The only other use for it is for the step into every map zone in the map once achievement. But other than that, eh. Yeah, today is eight in record keeper, which is live now if you want it. I know you want ice damage. Alright, let's go. Don't fail me, record keeper. How many characters in that game will give you ice damage? Watch, you're gonna get Quistus, one of the worst characters in the game. I swear to god. He doesn't even have anything 5 star by default. You have to unlock the ability for her to get 5 star black magic. Ooh. I mean, even then she's not very good. Because she's a blue mage, which means she is doomed to eternity of suffering until blue magic exists, which it will never. There are so many things to sell. I really should have done this off screen, but man, look at all this money we're making. <laughs> you know, that shit you just got just from going through the Great Crystal. Yeah, once. this is all the Great Crystal stuff. Bombshells? Yeah, we got those from uh, Mom Bombs. Alright, what the hell of squalls did I get? You got that squall thing? God damn it, it's just blasting zone. <laughs> blasting zone. Oh, bitch. Arcatana. Boomerol and poison bombs. Poison bombs are nice. Black bolts and hunting crossbow. Theorem and Nukai Sand. I'm just gonna buy everything here. Giga's hat, Giga's chest plate. Phoenix downs. Crown of Laurels, Rubber Suit. Save the Queen. Elixir. Oh yeah. I Arcana, the one we just sold. <laughs> bubble belt. Yeah, and no, once you get enough bubble belts, you can just kind of replace bubble with that instead if you really want the double health. I think other accessories are better, especially having silence resist on her is really good. What's a mage that can't cast spells, right? Yeah, true. True. Can't change the gear on Redis. I guess I never really tried that earlier, but it makes sense. What's in the next area? I mean, that depends on our promise or definition of Donald Vaughn. Well, save the queen and save the king is like a staple of Final Fantasy. Yeah, like they really are. Every Final Fantasy game, that's like... When did they first introduce that? Because it's... It's in a lot of the games. I'm actually not sure. I know it's like pretty early, for the most part. I know it's a thing in 9. I think 9 is the earliest one that I can remember off the top of my head. Okay, 4? I know it was it wasn't in 6, but apparently the earliest is in... Oh, wait. No, the earliest is in six, unless you count the remake, which I don't think we should. I don't think that counts early at all. Yeah, otherwise then it's six. Was the first one? Wait Did a minute. Wait. wait a minute. It's it's wait a minute. Six. It's only for Celeste's ultimate weapon in the GBA Advanced version. Wait a minute. God damn it. That's the first time it appears. Yes, unless unless eight came up before that, which I don't think it did. Or did it? Look, man, if I don't remember. <laughs> if A came out before that, its first appearance was officially innate. You yeah, know, most of the things that are in Kingdom Hearts are actually already existing things in Final Fantasy. A lot of the ship parts and stuff are named after Final Fantasy stuff. It's such a shame Cactar only appears in ship. 
Yeah, it's a real shame. Um, okay. Picked up those hunts. I'll say this much, I want to do every other hunt first, and then do Fenrir last. Just because. You want to- oh, might as well get the easier hunts out of the way. Fenrir is which one? Well, that's oh, that's Fafnir. That's not Fenrir. Oh, Fafnir was the Fafnir Fenrir. Jesus Christ, I keep confusing. They're new, they're similar up. names. That was Aramina Rift. Yeah, like I said, I would do that. I would do Fafnir last. Okay, it's good to just start these though. Oh, very true. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. Whatever, that's not annoying where we have to go. I don't mind that. Yeah, no, thankfully you never have to go back to the Great Crystal again, except for the one boss. We'll go back there, don't worry. We'll be max level, but we'll, we'll, go, we'll go back. First, we'll do every other hunt to finish the game today. <laughs> Anything that's not Yizmet is going to be done today. And the other ones, basically. Let me show you the crystal area, the lead up at least, which is not nearly as bad. This Kadamon shouldn't be too bad. I went the wrong way. No, wait, this is the right one. This this area is weird to me because I feel like they should be sending you elsewhere. Like they have you pointing forward and I feel like that's where I would put the thing. Yeah, but the game's too much of a dick. We're only going outside of hell. We're going to hell's kitchen, essentially. Silphco? Silphco is not bad. What is with this area and its weird loading times? Yeah, it's really weird. Oh, it's like, I oh. mean, there's some good, there's some stuff, like, around in the background, but otherwise, eh. What? This? What? Hold on. Hey, you found the urn. <laughs> I really missed that? Yes. <laughs> Does that help me with the, with the crystal? Does that show up anything there? No. Nah, of course it wouldn't. Why would it? That would that would make too much sense. I think we had a rare last time he came through here. I'm impressed I got the larva eater to spawn though, considering people were saying that it's like, oh hey, apparently this thing no one knows how to spawn it. Yeah, as far as I know, the ones that ever figured out a concrete way to do it. One more layer down. Or people did find it, they didn't put it on the wiki. Please stay hydrated. I don't want that bot in my channel, but please remember to be hydrated. Like, don't drink too much water, because water poisoning is a very real thing that could happen. Yes, at most, just at least drink a daily recommended dose of water. If they ask you to drink like a liter a day. Yeah, something like that. It seems excessive, but I like, eh. I don't know. I'm not a scientist. Oh, this is a holy elemental. Hold on. I got this. <laughs> Yeah. 
There we go. Poison those rocks. We're at the bottom. I see it. Oh, that was easy. I don't even think it did anything. I think it tried to slow someone. Yeah, I tried something, but you killed it too fast. You pulled it too much. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh. Well, Markov, if you're curious about how the Great Crystal actually looks like, though. I can go into it for like two seconds. Uh, hold on. Area is kind of a, a mess. Uh, it was on the wrong side. This is hell. You'll notice in a second, there's two things that are very off. There's no mini map. And this is now the overhead map. This doesn't tell me anything. And now we're leaving. That wasn't the invisible bow. That was that was me using Excalibur. You can yell at me that I'm using a guide on a blind playthrough, but let me ask you an important question. Is it fair to go through that for hours, frustrated, and have a chat that be very bored? Nah, it's not worth it. Yep, that's pretty much why. And I, I don't worry, I was still frustrated going through that. The exact reason why I sent you the match, like, no, that's not worth the it. The people out there who really want to get that suck juice out of me, man, you got it, don't worry. You get, you get the suck juice, don't worry. Everyone, everyone gets a little suck juice from me. Just like, yeah, I want to see you fail. Hell yeah. Mm, yeah, get lost. You know, for someone who stopped, Vaughn, your hair is moving a lot. Them hair physics, though. That's the thing. I care more about entertainment value than I do... Um... Like, trying to you know, wall for like 20 hours or something. I'll wall for 10 hours, thank you very much. That's happened. I have my limits though, I'm not gonna... Like, it's it's different if I'm having fun. If I'm not having fun though, then no one is having fun. And that's, that's where I draw the line. Like, people ask me, how did I fight one boss in Dark Souls for like X amount of hours? I mean, I had fun doing it and I was under leveled. There's your answer. Yeah, at least Dark Souls like presents a challenge that can be fun if you work toward it. Yeah, I was having fun. But like that crystal map? No, no, no. I ain't, I ain't putting up that crap. It's like the argument of why are you using the, uh, the speed up for this game? Like, man, you seen how slow this game is? 
I was watching a video today of someone doing the Gilgamesh fight because I wanted to show it to Maniacal. And I was just like, oh god, the whole thing was in slow motion. So it's just like... It feels like it's going in slow motion. And that's while hasted. Oh, it's so slow. Even MMOs don't go this slow. As somebody who's played plenty of MMOs, no MMO goes that slow. Sure enough, Omega will be the absolute last thing we do in this game. Because then I don't have to find the exit to that place, I can just say we're done! Oh, wait, yeah. Truly past the crystal. Um, got that from, uh, what was it? Baramis. Should be able to get to that area, Zeno. But I mean, it's up to him if he wants to actually go in. Um, I don't know if I want to do that just. Your brother turned into the piss demon. Dark shot. Ooh, that'll be useful. Mm -hmm. That'll be very, very useful against a certain boss. You know, more games need Siegfried in them. I was just thinking about that. <laughs> you know, you know that post where it's like, "I'm fine," and it's like, "What she really means?" And it's like, "Yeah, more more Final Fantasy games need Siegfried." You know, the mo <laughs> one of the best characters that no one ever talks about. He's just on that train, and then apparently it was not him on the train. That was like a fake him or something. He's never really dead because it's like there's a point where it's like there's an imposter of me going around. Uh, what a, that one half fight that no one remembers, uh. I hate the Coliseum in 6, because it's like, man, let me do these fights. Even if it's with one character, let me. Reyna and Eri. I still appreciate 14 putting in Siegfried in the normal mode of the train fight. Uh, it's in the normal mode? Yeah, you just, you have to random, you have to go into the cart to not die at one point, and you can randomly spawn in one of them. I have never gotten him to spawn so far. It's just instant victory, basically. Yeah, you can just like hit him once and he's dead. <laughs> Reyna is who we're looking for. Damn you, anagrams! Trail. There you go. I'd recognize that butt anywhere. Uh, the wild Malboro. Just a normal Malboro? Oh, a wild one. Close to any other Malboro. Yes. What kind of Malboro are the ones in 10 in the, the bonus dungeon? I can't remember the name of them off the top of my head. 
The ones that inflict like all the worst things specifically in that game, and it's like the worst Melboro ever. Ah, <laughs> uh, that Melboro really is the worst one ever. Smells really bad, so we can't get close to it because we have sensitive noses. And yet we have Fran in our party. Fran is hardened. He's left. Great Malboro, that's what it was. Ugh, that thing sucks. So much! Man, I hate it. Um, we tackle this one now? as well. You can't. I mean, you can. You want to do the hunts anyway. Yeah. Let's see where it is in the clan primer. So, because I know you'll never bother trying to bother looking... Uh, going back to that, with the uh, with the illusions. One little fun fact about this about that illusion place. Sure. So remember the mag magical girls you have to fight. Yeah. Yeah, they can spawn there. All of them. Yes. I'm actually gonna do a thing. I think it might be faster to do this. I was actually gonna go through there anyway. <laughs> but the only way to spawn them is to kill everything else in the area and then zone back and zone out and zone back in. But that's not the scary part. They can buff each other to love, be level 99. Ooh. Yep, if you don't- Yep, if you don't actually kill them fast enough, they will all be level 99. <laughs> so they get to have that special privilege of being the only few mobs that can get to 99. <laughs> T-Rex at the start of the game can do that, if you really wait long enough. Speaking of T-Rexes, I like how Vaughn just had to turn around and get that in. Oh. 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 Yeah, this is faster. One more area. Redis is just here and he's like, you know, we should probably start doing that thing. And I'm just like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll get around to it. Don't worry. Just, yeah. I still think the music here does not fit, but it's good music. This is missed. His timeline. <laughs> She's out of the fight. Oh, they're both out of the fight. But you have to cure their stone. Avon's got this, don't worry. Never mind, Vaughn doesn't have this. Alright, time for B team. Oh, the other route, not bro. <laughs> This one's not nearly as bad. I disagree. Because this one does not confuse you, which w apparently it does. Never mind. But yeah, it's like confused. confusion is way worse in 10. Okay, we're going to do this. Kill it the smart way. I said we're going to kill it the smart way. We can win this. 
it has the physical paling up. Does it? Yes. Fuck. <laughs> Doesn't this count as like any damage? Well, I, well, well, I don't think it. Can, I'm only I doing the one. Physical. I'll see, we'll see anyway. I'm not gonna do this then. In fear of wasting thing. Yeah, that's fine. Burrow heard us talking about his great cousin in 10. Why did I not continue? It, it was immune to physical damage. It had the paling up, apparently, so... Rather than waste time... We're all weak to that. Okay, yeah, like I, I don't yeah. know how that went way better, but sure, yeah. yeah. Like I thought, quickenings count as physical damage, so palings would negate it entirely. Yeah, that happened the other day, so... That was... a thing? Well, you, you had to use your time the second time. <laughs> okay. Alright, all right. I'm not gonna question that. RNG smiled upon me that day. Yeah, no, he, he decided to give you a break. <laughs> you only have to do this mechanic the first time you said <laughs> they're not that mean Neat mechanic go oh, I thought that was the diner sir <laughs> did you know they made a Jurassic Park game recently and it has Jeff Goldblum in it Yes, I, I've seen videos of it. Beautiful. It's pretty great. Touch. Yes, please take a shower. Regenerate yourself. Cold showers can be pretty good. Yes, and then come back in time to see maybe you could take on the Hellworm today before doing the story. <laughs> I'll be right back, but considering you're just gonna be doing hunts at the yep. moment. I'm just imagining what a speedrun of this game would be like. It would still take forever, even on four times speed. I'll take your word for it on the hell dwell, uh, hell worm. Oh no, it, it was downstairs. I'm dumb. Take note, if you come to recover, you have earned your bounty with honor. Take it, it comes from Rail herself. Euclid Sexton. Oh, hell oh yeah. Bond's all about that Sexton life. Yes, good old strawberry pocky. Oh, I thought you were saying that in, in response to the uh, the sextant. <laughs> Five hours speedrun minimum. Yeah, almost six hours. Ujahara. I think the war chief.
This is a race that I really feel like they didn't do anything with in the game. Missed opportunity. They could have yeah, done some interesting just, stuff with them. Yeah, they just kind of here for like small lore story world building things. Like, okay, we're done. For your either one. Okay, it was the, the regular war chief. Third and caverns. Wait, what? Am I just watching the fight? Because that doesn't sound very fun. No, you're not just watching the fight. Be it's weird. weird. I think it's best if we just go in from here. We're good enough that we can make it. I ain't afraid. Yeah, no, you're way over level at this point for that area. Oh my god, is that the red chocobo? No, it's just normal red chocobo. It japes you. Damn it. Like how it just spawns combo and it's like immune, 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 immune. immune to holy, come on. Uh, I got an idea. Besides, trying to spawn the red chocobo is more annoying than it's worth. Is it easy to kill, at least? Uh, I forget if it's like, it's, it might be decently easy to kill, but like, mm, you will still want to be level 99 for it or so, or close to it. Come on. Yeah, these horses. 37. Check the primer for him. Because as you know, the red chocobo does what all good chocobos can do. Murder you if you use Knights of the Round? <laughs> That's a thing. No, it uses Choco Comet. That too. That was my name. Especially because we fought the tricks through. Yeah, I saw Jesus in the shape of my chocobo. An iron pole! Man, that's not useful at all anymore. Amazing how this area is just 100% optional. <laughs> we could probably run through the area with the wyverns. Not a great idea, but I mean... It's honestly not a good idea, honestly. Because it could still be 99 and still kick your ass. Also, if you really want to know, the easy way to spawn the red chocobo Kill everything. is to petrify. No, it's to petrify them. Because pet yeah, so I think I remember you telling me that. Yeah, petrifying them makes them respawn continuously until a red chocobo can spawn. Oh. Okay. 
Is there like a hidden area? Yes. I think it's in this area then. I'm at least guessing it's this way. We'll, we'll see. It's probably not the right. Oh, you're cold. Are we playing Chocobo Hot Cold? Yes. Yes, you're cold right now, though. And you're just getting super cold. I wanted the items. There's nothing else you got it's slightly warmer. Considering I just cheated and saw there was a path from this direction. Yeah. You know what? We went through here earlier and I completely forgot about it. <laughs> that was so long ago. It really was. I'm just gonna step on this to make sure it doesn't trigger during battle. Miter. Step on this as well. That's the thing you were afraid of? Man. That was easy. I know a fun fact. Yeah. Remember the bunny thing you had to fight? Yeah, I know. I noticed that yesterday. <laughs> yeah, it's the same thing. We literally killed two cattle bleepus. All right. From now on, any mention of uh, that enemy is now going to be called cattle bleepus <laughs> on this stream. It doesn't matter what game it is. It doesn't have to be Final Fantasy. It appears in other games. Oh my god. Yeah, we, we beat the bunny. We did it yesterday. Peto Beepus is a very strong bootleg boss. I remember what the fastest way out of here would be. Honestly, it's probably just going this way. Probably just wherever you can get to a faster teleport crystal or something. Is Kato Coke better? Or Kato Beepus? Absolutely not. Obviously the Beepus. Gotta get me that Beepus. Oh, you just spawned the rare enemy. <laughs> Did I? I didn't notice. Well, I already left. I'm not going out of my way for these rare enemies, so whatever. It actually makes sense for me to go this way because Jahara Village is this way. And look at them, the horse is doing puny damage to you now. We've come so far. I think the annoying thing was these horses thought they was a good idea to teleport. Yeah. 
Man, sometimes you just gotta teleport. Normally, the Kato Vipus known for how it's able to make things turn to stone. I think so. I think in mythology, no. that's what it's known for. It's like a one-eyed beast that usually turns things to stone. I think in Final Fantasy V, that's also what it is, and it is in most Castlevania games. I believe so. But it's not the Chocobo. I was just checking. Is it as big as the Trickster? I, but if I remember correctly, it is, yes. You didn't really do much fighting, honestly. I mean, really, if he... It's also kind of sad that a small bunny could kill that thing faster than he could. Yeah. I mean, if I had the second grad out, I would have won really fast. Ooh, volcano. Curious about something. You know, on hit katana, confuse is not a very good thing to have, I noticed. Because you hit someone with it, they're confused, then you hit them again, and then it's like, well, now they're not confused. <laughs> um, I guess that leaves the last one, right? Yep. It'll be faster if I warp to leave. Yeah, yeah, it will. Time to go fight the last thing we need to kill before moving on with the story again. Well, now hold on, there might be some elite hunts after this. Oh, that telekinesis is so good, it's so ranged. <laughs> I guess I could have used the airship and come here and it would have been faster, probably, maybe. <laughs> You're here now. Whatever. With the four times speed, it's really not a problem. Was this the same area we fought the trickster? Uh, 
Uh, this one, I think so. Oh, I think I went to the place. I did. Eh, you can still get there from where you are now. So, what's spooky about this one? No, no, I just want to make you go in order. <laughs> Alright. Finally. Hold on. Oh, they went the wrong. Yeah, I took a wrong turn at Albuquerque. Darn it, this why we should have asked for directions. Vaughn can move perfectly fine on the ice. He skated on sand ice. Yes, definitely. Where is it? Is this one of those ones you have to kill everything? Uh, it no, it shouldn't be. This is the right area. I mean, look, maybe look in the clan primer, maybe it'll tell you how to spawn it. I looked earlier, it just said it was dangerous. Ah, blizzard, of course. So just zone in and out? Yeah, pretty much. Leave the area entirely or just no? I don't think you have to. I mean, there's kind of snowy wind going around, but I guess that's not good enough. You should find out if that's the case. Uh, I mean, it just you just need to have blizzard going on. I mean, it looks kind of snowy now. That's the thing. It's like I'm classifying this as a blizzard, but I know the game doesn't. Yeah, the game has. I think it's supposed to be like really heavy snow. Getting heavier. I don't need to leave entirely. No, it doesn't look like you have to. Just keep zoning in and out. It even sounds like, you know, you can kind of hear the wind blowing and everything. Mm -hmm. Really getting the impression that I gotta leave the area entirely. But apparently this is... This. That's why, okay. 
Okay, I think I know why. What happened? I right, head towards the Feywood. Oh, I do have to zone out? Yeah. It's because you passed by a certain area in the Paramedia Rift. Really dumb, but eh, whatever game, we'll play your game. Alright, I'm in the Fae Woods, so just zone back in. Yep. What exactly happened? So, you went through the frozen brook, which basically changes the weather conditions for some odd reason. So, now you have to go back there without passing through the frozen brook area of the rift. Where's the frozen brook? Oh, I see. This that's so stupid. Just go in a certain area, it just says no. Yeah, pretty much. Now should we just be free to zone in and out of where the hunt spawns after killing everything? Gotta kill everything first? I'll just do it just to have not, a, not as many annoyances. Okay. Nope, nothing. I mean, it has to be a snowstorm. Nothing here? You don't know if it's a snowstorm, if it's like, like, dense fog kind of thing. Yeah, I figured it yeah. out. I still feel like I'm doing something wrong. I don't think you are. Of course, the other thing you can do is just, if you feel like it, just go in and out of the favorite until you get that weather, if you want it. Uh, I could, but then what if it doesn't stay? It should stay if you still do it that way. At least, it should. We'll try one more time, then we'll just zone in and out until we get it. We had a blizzard when we fought the trickster. Fun times, fun times, fun times. <laughs> fun times. <laughs> Gotta love needing certain weather. Isn't fog either.
Oh, this isn't considered a blizzard either. Oh man, this sucks. Here we go. Hey, let's go. Go time. Yep, there he is. This is one of those enemies I'd really love to see the health of. Yeah. Look, there's your health. <laughs> I think has a lot of health, damn. Why does this thing have so much health? Just does. <laughs> it just kind of does. So what's the recommended strat for this one? Um, be able to do a lot of healing. Let's just sit here for a while. Yes. Well. It's a good thing that my good friend four times speed exists. I can tell you how much HP it has total. Million. Yes, you're right. I knew it. <laughs> One million four hundred thousand or so. <laughs> it's a good time. I got a plan. See, here's the annoying part. I can't take off the silence thing, otherwise I get sleeped. Yeah, he's a douche with, he's a douche with those sad ailments. Go B team. So this is one of the hardest hunts I take it. Uh yeah. You're basically getting to the end game of hunts. Honestly, there's not really much of us in Q few to watch out for its death elements and other shit. <laughs> I'll leave that strategy planning to you.
Luckily, my good friend exists. I'm just going to immediately equip the same threat. Good to know that Yi's map will actually kind of go faster than this because we'll be at max level. And sort of optimized. Not immune to any status ailments, right? Imagine fighting this thing without the speed up. Oh, it would be so tedious. Thank God for speed up. Oh hell yeah, Ash is 69. Nice. Technically the fastest way out. I'm gonna say it's probably best if we just go to Rabinaster. Let's buy some more ethers. Actually, you know what? No. Let's not do that. Let's turn this in first, and then we'll come back and buy more ethers.
How much health does the Hellworm have? Figure it's pretty bad. This is kind of a wholesome end to this quest. Oh, hello, those are probably instant death arrows. Make Satan Grad even worse. <laughs> yes. I'm just gonna do this for my own sanity. There we go. Moving on. Let's turn these in and let's see if there's an elite mark for us. Oh my god, lucky! Finally moving. Amazing, you had to talk to her one more time. Where's the hunt? Earth Tyrant. Free money? Ooh. Go to Low Town? Okay.
sorry about that. I had to go to something real quick. Yeah, so we could do the Behemoth King now. Oh, so that is available. All right, then. <laughs> I didn't think it was. Yeah, apparently there is a hunt for us, so... Let's go do this. Also, we got the girl to move. She vanished, so I assume later she'll... Nice. Finally, Jesus her. Christ. You had to talk to her again, and she was like, I made my decision. I'm gonna uh, move! Jesus Christ, finally. She didn't give me a reward, though. She just said I'm moving. She might have already moved, though, I think. It wasn't where I thought she would. Okay, never mind. That. All right, whatever. All right, time for Behemoth King. <laughs> yep. And I'm expecting it to die and then cast Meteor and murder everyone. According to this interview with Nomura, he's been switching back and forth between Kingdom Hearts 3 and the Final Fantasy 7 remake, putting 100% into one, then switching to the another one. That's an interesting way to do it. Honestly? Considering when he wants to release Kingdom Hearts 3, I don't- I can see why he it would will do take that. Kingdom Hearts 3 as long as it takes Final Fantasy 7 to come out, in terms of years. <laughs> it's funny how after all these years, Kingdom Hearts 3 technically is not vaporware. Oh, right. <laughs> because they only recently actually were like, yeah, we're actually gonna start production, because they kept releasing other games, so they were like, yeah, no, 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 these are all important. Can't be considered vaporware, legally. Killing behemoths. So kill all the behemoths in the Feywood. Well, it's not just the behemoths. Kill the Mandragora as well? Oh, thank god, no, you don't have to kill the Mandragoras. Well, I guess the best place to go to would be Gear Vegan. He said Mount Burr, so I figured he wanted us to go there. A terrible deduction, but yeah, he just be want you to go here. Uh, uh, no. He spawning the Behemoth King is tedious more than anything. Right. I mean, we've got four times speed. It makes things a lot more doable. So, kill all the Behemoths is part one. Well, it's not just the Behemoths. Kill all the snakes. Kill everything. In this zone or the next zone? In this zone and the zone after. And the zone before it. Wait, wait, hold on, what? So you kill all everything in both zones with the illusion and like with the illusion puzzle. Okay. Cause it's not just the behemoths you have to kill, it's everything. So isn't that gonna spawn the Mandragora? Uh no. To spawn the Mandragora requires you zoning out like further than you actually need to go compared to the Behemoth King. Okay, to speed this up, uh button on the bow. If you really want to, you could also take this time to level up the B team. Nah, they'll level up, don't worry. <laughs> so we have uh instant KO arrows now. With uh three damage. How will I know in this shitty area when everything is dead? Um, keep looking around, I guess. <laughs> I 
That's what y'all know. Snakes pop up randomly out of grass. Is it only when there's grass? I don't know. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean that. We have to kill everything in that zone too anyway. <laughs> I do, but let's let's get everything here first. Platinum dagger. Kill everything. Honestly, Markham, knowing Nomura, he's probably thinking of weird ways to end Kingdom Hearts 3 story. I'm telling you, it's gotta be Pence. <laughs> Last minute change. Pence is the main villain. Oh, uh, yes, of course, clearly. Are you saying you're against Pence? Because I'm all for that idea. I mean, as godly as Pence is, I don't think he's going to be the secret villain. It's not going to happen. It's going to be like that one uh, series where a thing happens. And then a character, you know, who mysteriously is uh, in a bed with another character mentions a thing and it's like, wait a minute, you possessed another person? Yeah, that would be the ultimate shame because he said before this would be the end of the Zero North Saga. I'm just more shocked that you didn't notice what I was talking about. I know which one you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> You'll learn about it someday when you're older if you don't understand that. Or the sequel series, where, you know, they look into a computer screen and then you see, oh my god, they're possessed, what? <laughs> Man, when is the viewing party of that happening with Cody? God. He was talking about doing it. One day, once he gets out, once he solves the situation. Whatever happened to him? It's not the best place to, to talk about it, but I hope he's okay. Yeah, no, he just said personal things happening. That's all. We'll just give him time. There's new JoJo coming out in a couple days. Yeah. So, I mean, he's gotta be around for that. We'll see. Honestly, Farcrub, if you don't know what it is, it's probably for the better. It might have been hentai. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. There's a good chance it might not have been, though. Um, I think I killed everything. Well, there's only one way to find out. Go to the next area? Yep. Thing's just gonna appear out of nowhere, isn't it? It's gonna like jump scare me. I don't think it's gonna jump scare. Yeah, that thing is fucking huge! Holy shit! <laughs> so I like how this is just the same enemy we just fought. <laughs> yep, yeah, pretty much. Dumb things on it, please dispel it immediately. <laughs> Good. It's dying a lot faster, too. Oh, 
I'm expecting the meteor. Oh my god, this thing has too much health. How much health does this thing have? 1.7 million. Alright, bring back the bow. <laughs> I ain't putting up with this. I'm not wasting everyone's time. I need you to cast haste go right now. It's immune. Yep, have fun. <laughs> Get rid of your paling. Oh no, he killed that three sword style swordsman. Pretty soon you're gonna cast Meteor, it happens all the time. Isn't this a fun fight? <laughs> um, hold on. I'm gonna do a smart. But, what? What do you mean it was immune? What do you mean it was immune? I'm sorry. Ash, you need this. Put disease on people too? He just the rude motherfucker. Yeah, okay, alright, I'm gonna be rude too. Time for Firefox. Not a chance. My god, I thought he killed you. <laughs> Summon the Mozillas! I mean, this is why I like the, the, the limits in this game. You can cheese. <laughs> Just sit here and chain limits for a while. 
Not wrong. I must endure. Got a surprise for you. Found it's not a surprise if you use it twice. <laughs> Especially if it's twice in a row. <laughs> I must endure. Also defeats the purpose of saying surprise. Got a surprise for you. Got a surprise for you. Oh hell yeah, Maelstrom Bolt. Don't worry, Vaughn's got another surprise. Believe. How about some of this? Vaughn's logging into the internet again. Hell yeah. Final Fantasy XII is sponsored by Firefox. Is Firefox even around when this game came out originally? I'm pretty sure it was. I don't think it was. Is Firefox a Blitzball? No, those aren't Blitzballs. Those are just Vaughn can produce that. Yeah, like I thought, 2002 was the initial release date. Of, of Firefox? Yeah. And when was this game? 2001? 2006. Yeah. Yeah. Mozilla Firefox was a baby at this point. Oh yeah! Nice! Got one. Had to like sh shuffle like three times and spam the buttons. Yep. <laughs> Still going. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, now we're done. I get a pretty good one out of this, though. The one way to see, let's see what the concurrency you get is. Luminescence. I don't think we've gotten this one. Please die. I think that's the second strongest concurrence before Black Hole. That sounds right. Also, it not it did not die. <laughs> I think it had the paling up. Might have. <laughs> What the worst part is, yeah. In my opinion, out of all the hunts left besides Yasmet, he's I think the hardest one. Which one, Behemoth King? Yes, in my honest opinion. Put your paling down. Paling is so boring. Yeah, that's it's a time just... waster. Pretty much. Fighting record keeper because it's not a pain in the ass. <laughs> Alright, how do I summon the Mandragora? Let's try it. How much do you actually want to get the Mandragora to be spawned? Yeah, I mean, we killed everything, didn't we? <laughs> okay. So to get it to spawn, you have to clear out all the enemies in the ice field of clear sight. 
we did that. Then you go, then you go to White Mag, White Magic's embrace, and then return to the ice field. And that's it. Mm -hmm. And though, if you go, if you go through the shrines, you'll find them pretty much. You know, just kill them before they buff each other to ninety nine. Oh, they're here already. Oh, they're already here. Never mind. <laughs> go kill them. <laughs> There's one left somewhere. They can't buff each other unless there's if there's only one of them, right? Believe so, but I could be proven wrong. It's very scary this area when there can be level 99s just in front of me. Yep. <laughs> I think they're all dead. Wasn't there five of them? Yeah, there's five of them. Really? Well, we, I think we killed four. I think you killed four too, yeah. Wish the Mandrigo was like trailing behind me this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else. You can just follow the pa illusion pass from the shrines and see if you can find it that way. Yeah, no, I think they might all be dead. So, yeah. what does that even do if you kill them? Well, if you check your Vichyri and go to the Feywood entries, you'll see, you'll see how many you have. If you want the special pages, wait, you see how you see how many you have to kill. Oh no, I don't want to do that. How many are there? You have to kill twelve more of them. Each. On top, yes, on top of the ones you killed in, in the palace. Only if you want the special, the special pages, though, otherwise you don't have to care. <laughs> no. You don't even get an achievement or anything for that, do you? No, because I remember correctly, filling out the beach sure just needs at least having killed one of everything. Best is way to go! Just turn in, turn in the bounty then. So was that the last elite? No, there's other elites. Okay. Hopefully they don't have that much health. I like how the Satan Grad is becoming fair game at this point. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you know what? I don't feel bad about using it at this point. Imagine fighting both of those. God. Yeah, just normal speed. I don't want to do that again. That's it. 
He really didn't have anything good to give me. He was not kidding. Yeah, no, he's a 4S bitch. What do you expect? I don't know, maybe he had something that he didn't realize was incredibly valuable and then he gave me. Okay, so I take it there's nothing to do other than the worm at this point? I mean, if you want to take on the... Right, how much health the does the worm have? Uh, basically 9 million. Is it really 9 million? Yes. Ooh. Yeah, I think we'll wait. Yeah, we already used up most of our ethers during that. Like I said, I'm finishing the game this stream. So. If I have to take however long to finish it, we'll, we'll do that. I say it shouldn't take too long. Do the smart thing and just talk to him, see if we get a better reward. <laughs> no, he doesn't even care. He's just like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> okay. Time to do the story. Take care of super bosses tomorrow. Yes. Oh, wait, yeah, I'm with the wrong one. Yes, there, there will be, at some point, I'm gonna need you to tell me what the best place to save is. That way I could just load that up. I think that's fair, right? Well, that depends which super boss. <laughs> what? No, I meant like, tell me when, when I should save. Ah. Uh, so, like, point of no return, you know? Oh no, you'll know the point of no return. They're actually pretty obvious about it. Michael got uh crap. Gotta uh, get the Zantetsk in reverse, which is really cool when that happens, but uh eh. Not very good. Oh good, I'm not the only one who got crap. <laughs> Blasting zone is really cool in the game. I mean it looks cool, but god damn it, record keeper. <laughs> Why you do this? It's because I got the overstrike yesterday, god damn it. <laughs> I guess something good yesterday as opposed to Is stroll, 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 stroll. Are you looking for the stroll? You're already in the stroll. I mean, what is it? The the cataract? Is that where we gotta go? Yes. When we get there, um, uh, do a bathroom break, and we'll be good. All right. God, our airship is so much faster than the other one. <laughs> I miss the games where you can fly the airship around and just land it wherever. Yeah, I miss those too, honestly. They give you a lot of freedom. Now it's just like, yeah, whatever, we gotta simplify it. Say this much, this, re this recreated in 14 is very loyal to the original source. What was that? 
the recreation of this in 14 is very good to the original source. With this dungeon? Mm -hmm. And since it's the new raid in 14, the 24 man, anyway, it's very so really similar. I take it this well building done. is basically shot for shot? Uh, I mean, like, there's some obvious parts omitted, but overall, overall, it's pretty like it's pretty much the same. A tower on distant shore. And about its peak, a piercing mist. And in that mist, the sun crest waits. My lady, your words still sound of doubt. Pray you reach your answer ere we the sun crest. And? Should I choose revenge, what then? Then your woe shall be your own. I think these dungeons aren't nearly as bad as, uh, the crystal. Yes. Vaughn, a word. If something untoward should happen to me, you're taking the straw. Untoward? What's this about? I am the leading man. Might need to do something heroic. Don't worry, I'll show you how to fly her. Gonna look around real quick. Pretty nice area, all things considered. Yeah, no, for something place that's been abandoned for probably like thousands of years. Yeah, looks like someone was keeping it nice. Yeah, you know, it's abandoned other than all the monsters that live here. Exactly. They've built a nice town, kind of like a uh, Super Mario RPG Monster Town. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, be right back.
I'm getting a lot of bugs this time of year. Right? Yeah. I know, right? I don't normally get this many. I don't know what happened. I blame the environment. Honestly, that's what I was about to say. Yeah, I went to go, like, murder, like, three bugs, and then I was like, damn it. They flew away. I don't know where they went. Yeah, I know. Gotta keep them I out of your to, house. I tried to kill a fly, but then it flew out of the way before I could clap it in between my hands. <laughs> Onwards! Oh, this place is lovely. It's got Malboros. Yep, pretty much. And I'm just gonna tell you this right now. Pretty much, like, every other magic and technique that you could possibly be are missing is pretty much in, the, in this area you're in right now and in the final dungeon. Just find them. Okay, I'll... my best. Let me know if I'm in a specific area. Cleric's robes. Pheasant? What was that? Was that like a phoenix down, but better? You know, I think that's an accessory. If I remember correctly. Accessory that lets you revive automatically? No, it's not that nice. <laughs> Pair of ghillie boots. Or a moat. Why, why would you even walk over there? Oh man, I hope this crystal doesn't attack me. Oh, it actually doesn't. Huh, that was oddly generous. <laughs> yeah. Am I going into progress? Where am I going? You're going to toward progress. Okay, I'm gonna turn around then and... The Pharos. This is not the lighthouse, right? Where Yuzmet is? I mean, you'll find out eventually. You know, if someone mentioned, I think it was you mentioned it, like, Yuzmet at some uh, shitty lighthouse. Yeah, we'll go, uh, we'll go down. It looks like down's probably like a loop around. I think what really sucks is if you're Gerard and you want to complete this game, he has to get all the bestiary pages. <laughs> I mean, that's only if he wants to, like, you know him. Get the, get the special pages, otherwise. You know him. He has to. It's not complete I otherwise. I know. <laughs> oh, yep. Yeah, this is where you fight use, Matt. I've, I've seen a picture of this area. Long ago, like years and years ago, I remember seeing this place and going like, oh, that's cool. A little Coliseum. Oh, look at all those tasty traps. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. I can't believe they put traps everywhere for this boss. That's really annoying. That's honestly kind of annoying.
It's gonna be real nice when we have a ribbon for the super bosses. Yep. Like, so perfect for them to put a super boss to. Yeah, there, there's just an arena here. Deal. Nothing in this screen of importance, I take it. Not that I recall. Yeah, like, I think of the two things that I had seen, like, very, very long ago, before the Zodiac Age ever existed, it was, like, the Yismat Arena and the Gilgamesh fight. And I had forgotten most of the Gilgamesh fight, I just remembered it being on a break. Because, you know, big break. Oh, this, this is a rare enemy. Oh shit, good job. <laughs> I not expect that. I was wondering why this thing killed me. I was like, wait. And I realized since you killed the beam, we can want to know a rude thing he does. Which thing? One. So once he gets to 10% or below health, the behemoth king, he doubles his level. Does he? Yep. I guess you can't really tell for obvious reasons. No. Yep, but he does it. <laughs> Because he's a rude boy. So what's his level? And then what does he double it to? His level is 70. So he goes to 140. Basically. I thought you can't go past 99. It's either 140, he just goes automatically to 99 either or. Probably just automatically go to 99. I'm surprised he didn't cast <laughs> Meteor. That's like the thing the Behemoth is known for. Yeah, no, he just, no, this had to screw you in other ways with them. I don't know. It's kind of tradition that the behemoth just knows how to do that. Was hilariously, his his immunity palings, he literally just switches one after another with one falls off. It's a boss. Oh, this thing's kind of cool looking. You look a lot cooler than you do in Record Keeper. This thing has like meat on it. Ugh. Kind of like the dragons in Dark Souls, you know the ones I'm talking about. Yep. Still debating if at some point I'll go back and do that. If like I'm gonna do like a co-op stream, I'll probably do another remaster and then maybe I'll do two and three, or at least play my own time. And this fight is a lot less annoying in Record Keeper. I mean a lot more annoying I should say. Thirty over. We tapped him. We have a holy sword, and honestly, you're out in the sun. Like, come on, get out of here. Bon, I don't feel so. Fight is like notoriously annoying. In Record Keeper. A lot of the 12 fights in Record Keeper kind of suck, but at least there's more to them. Which is kind of always the thing with Record Keeper is that it's like, and I like that this fight that was so easy has actual stuff now. <laughs> the Ruby Ring. Hey, friend. Something's written on the wall. Engraved by someone, it seems. Hmm. It's quite old. Lo, seeker in days unborn, God blade bearer. Know you, this tower challenges the sky. Where the watcher, 
The ward of the three weights, soul hungry, unsated. He without power, want it not. He with power, trust it not. He with sight, heed it not. Rend illusion, cut the true path. In blood, wraith war. The dynast king? <laughs> Does it startle you? The dynast king took his sword from the Okuria. It was here he claimed the Nethysite. So oh, how many espers he are here? He because the there are two more choose. story dungeons. This for you. And there are two more espers. They're not gonna put the last esper in the last path. dungeon, are they? Words of much yeah, you, mystery. You've played Record Keeper. Yes, blood I guess that's true. Your veins. Perhaps it whispers to you the truth. I don't know if that seems like kind of a lame thing to have it in, be in the very last dungeon. <laughs> I honestly don't know the order they expect you to do things in this game, though, to be a balanced level. It's the thing, like... It's like, I'm thinking about it, and it's like, well, I wouldn't do the main story first, then the hunts, because then some of the hunts are just easy. Yeah, that's the big thing. Like, there's... The balance is pretty much what the player makes of it really because i would want things to be interesting in terms of fighting but i guess if you do a team and b team you could easily do that where you can have only the b team fight certain things like i think even if i had the b team fighting x death it would have went as fast the fight is bad but it's just a joke I'm not even sure what the point of that fight was, because he, like, what, aren't they supposed to be, like, sealed away or something? Something like that, really? Hey, he's just, he just kind of flies down, he's like, hey, I live on this rock now. <laughs> so welcome to what I consider, at least personally for me, Best dungeon? my favorite dungeon. Hell yeah, eat, kill. Cavern Pillar. Power up yeah. by Hands Undying, Heaven Bound Path. Myriad <laughs> ways cannot be walked by those of the world below. They who master power, wisdom, mist, our secrets are for them. Oh, I guess that we have to kill a bunch of bosses? Yeah, this, you, this is the thing you can't do until after the story thing, so I would just ignore this part. At least this elevator thing here. I take it that's for a summon? No, actually. What do you think? Which way? Left or right? Well, I guess I'll always ask, ask you this first. Do you want to get Isunaga? Yes. Because I'm pretty sure you can get that now from the secret merchant in the Necro Hall. <laughs> Go there later. Okay, otherwise everything else is in here anyway. It doesn't really matter which path you choose. Just go whichever one you feel Looks like. Around. It. Take eh, it. You'll see. I mean, you'll see. It's a lighthouse, so it's like. Why are there cockatrice sound in a lighthouse? Hmm. Surely this mimic is a real mimic. Yes, it is. <laughs> They, the, the mimics are interesting, but it's just like, they make it so, so obvious. What was, what was that blue orb? Hold on. <laughs> Where'd that go? I saw that. What was that? <laughs> it's one of the mechanics in, in, this, dun in this dungeon. Touch. How long were you expecting that to take me? Honestly, a little bit, considering you were just going through and just killing everything. <laughs> Learn of truth, speak of truth, these words. Oh, okay. Yes. Something, something. Pick up the orb. How many orb do I need? All of the orb? I mean, I can give you the exact number, but... <laughs> Bro, everything seems to have a soul. 
fail to you. This is weird. I don't know if I like this yet. I think honestly, my favorite dungeon so far was the uh, the power dungeon where you need the to keep the battery going. Mm -hmm. I think mostly because I wasn't really expecting that, and it kind of works. And they make it kind of stressful by the fact that it's like. Alright, hurry up or else you're gonna run out of power and things are bad. I definitely understand that, yeah. X potion. You know, it's it's a really interesting mechanic and I really like that a lot. Horse, come down here. I'm impressed that worked. These things have bonus defense and I just slap them once and they still die. Kind of great. <laughs> Except for that one. I don't miss anything in any corner. Hermes sandals? I think that's haste. What that usually is in games. My grandma always said, if you want to box Harold into the sun, you gotta do it yourself. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it, Vaughn. These are honestly kind of more blue than they are black. I'm gonna have to take off some, uh, some points. <laughs> for miscoloring? Yeah, for lying. <laughs> From Beast of Towers base, rest the orbs you seek ripe with hidden magic. Okay, so yeah, I've I've been doing what I need to do. Pick up the orb. Pick up all the souls, I guess. And this area really did loop around. You ever get that feeling that there are like bugs crawling on you, but you know there isn't. A lot. Yeah. Yeah. I Getting keep that right now. Like, wait a minute. Getting that right now where I'm like, man, I feel like there's... I'm getting like really itchy, but I know there are none on me. You need to just get a ton, is what these keep saying. Basically. They kind of just say the same thing.
I think what I don't like about this mechanic is you have to pick it up and every time it has to stop the game to pick one up. It's a little jarring, if you get what I mean. Oh yeah, I know. I mean, I could let you in on a secret, I guess, if you want to know something about the orbs. No, I'll figure it out. Alright. Whoa, Vaughn, how did you hit that? I guess he has telekinesis. Either that or he was just close No, he's he's to close enough, yeah, no. That, that the game was like, yeah, no, he can hit it. <laughs> Resting. I guess just for the sake of of timing, since you want to go through this game and also pick up the stuff, there's like hidden passages all over this dungeon, basically. I figured as much. Fake walls or fake walls, passages, stuff like that. All the good stuff. Yeah, let me know if you see any. We can finish this today for Fiesta. They did that like once earlier. Ah yes, only a map of the first extent. Yep. <laughs> this is a big dungeon. It's no crystal. Yeah, no, thank god they actually give you a map. Very generous. Seems like you don't need that many. At least from the looks of it. I mean, you'll see eventually what you need to do. Honestly, I can't even tell what that did. <laughs> Alright. Going on. Finds this door, so we can't go through there yet. Interesting, there's a lot more dungeon than I thought there was for the first floor. Yep. <laughs> Surprise. I think we got enough of these orbs for now. But I see what they want me to do. That door should be open now. Uh, it should be, yes. I didn't miss any areas down here. I don't think you did anyway. <laughs> no, it's not gonna open. Alright, I guess we missed something. Probably at the start area. Luckily, we're only going one area away. 
which I guess makes this a lot more bearable. <laughs> I don't think I'll do trial mode for this, though. As interesting as that may be, yeah, I don't think it has a, a place here. <laughs> it's kind of what we already saw. Yeah, no, you're not wrong. It's really just repeat of boss fights with, like, slightly less HP or maybe slightly more. That wasn't there before. Is that a technique? I'll have to go back for that. Okay. Now we can go through. a lot more undead enemies in here. So, do you want to talk about how this works in 14, this dungeon? For the most part, it's like it's built the same way with like a lot of the same mobs. You need the basically... soul mechanic or, or no? no? What, what? What? No, you don't You don't need the soul mechanic. What? What just happened? This is like that one 14 dungeon where you go into uh, Atomos. What? Really confused by what just. I think I see. You don't want to go by the rock over there. Yeah, that's. Okay, that's what's going on. Um. Uh. Uh. Oh, okay. Thought we had a crash. Nice to meet you, Pandemonium. The little old rock turtle. What are you immune to? You mean to holy? Oh, he is. He's hitting a rock with the self. It seemed very unnecessary, the whole teleporting mechanic. That just seemed like padding. For an already kind of big dungeon, from the looks of it. Honestly, ironically, those things do have some significance, which you'll see later. What thing? The, the teleporting? No, but... well, I mean... 
a little bit yeah but and like that apparently he got idea. stoned during that so he's just like hey i know he's really he's he's really stoned he needs some help this room went nowhere interesting i like that you just teleport to another dimension I guess that counted as two transitions, even though we kind of didn't. Yeah, it technically counts as a transition. No hidden oh, areas, God. though? We're good to go? Uh, not in Nothing this I first missed. floor. No, not in this first floor, but every other floor after this one will have hidden areas, though. Before we do that, touch. Touch again. <laughs> Gotta get that MP back, yo. Let me guess, green orbs. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, there's a different mechanic every floor from a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now we're on floor 10. Watch you this, can who you crawl. Can you figure out the mechanic? Ooh. Tongues of stones, green flame, your way to speak. And stone face lit by green flame falls. The Flame returns to stone. Don't go where the flame is? Well, uh, no, you'll see. You'll see what they mean soon. So it didn't matter which door I went through from the looks of it? No, they just both loop around. I don't know why they put both doors like that. So I was like, wait, both those doors look the same. Oh my god. So nice having the ability to just touch these. Hey, I've had a hidden wall. Demon shield. And whatever this is, I guess there's nothing here. At this point now, though, you are free to try and find every single hidden wall you can find. Oh, these enemies. Welcome back. I like these enemies. I heard a noise. Oh, that's half the thing going up. Okay. That's cool. They're like keys in this dungeon. Neat mechanic. I dig it. Mm -hmm. This is kind of why I like it because it's always different mechanic you have to do for Even each like, set. Even if the mechanic doesn't always work, it's like whatever. It's not a big mechanic. Dragon mm -hmm. Helm. It sounds like it's something a lot more convoluted than it is. It's just kill the guys. Yeah. <laughs> the wording is it just seem like it's a lot more convoluted. I was expecting. I guess they kind of already did the whole you have to find the right path thing. Mm, yeah, pretty much. I take it you only have to do that once, though. Once it's done, it's done. <laughs> once you, like, let's build and you walk across, it's permanently there. That's good if I need to come back to this room. Or if I leave the dungeon.
no invisible walls there. I like how they have reflect, but it doesn't even matter because I killed them so fast. <laughs> I'll read you just in case. Yes, 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 invisible walls are a thing. <laughs> They kind of just spell it out for you. Hey, invisible walls. Honestly, they're making this a little too easy to find stuff. X potion, that's it? Hold on, I'm not done with you. Are you are you pulling Dark Souls on me? Are you just gonna put like five invisible walls behind you? No? Okay. One of those things I hated in Dark Souls. You know, you know the room I'm talking about, right? Yep, I definitely do. I think it was in the DLC or something. It was just like, oh, there's an invisible wall. What's behind that? An invisible wall. And then what's behind that? An invisible wall. And then what's behind that? One more invisible wall. <laughs> oh, wall. Jackie. They're making this a little too easy to find these walls. A lot less cryptic than Dark Souls. Chaperone. What? Oh, okay. The loop around. Lore 25, nice. Okay, we gotta do the most important thing, hold on. I forgot to do this. <laughs> I have a plan, don't worry. Oh hell yeah, floor 20. That was it. Oh my god. That floor 20 life. I wasn't paying attention if this had a floor 13, because buildings are not supposed to have floor 13s. Uh, no, they just skip a lot of the floors. <laughs> well, we started at 10, so... Hey, hey, get over here! Okay. I guess theoretically, techniques cost like no MP. So I could have telekinesis replace attack and it would do the same amount of damage, right? I don't... I think so. I think telekinesis does a little less. I think. Look that up. Not that I'm gonna change it. There's no reason to, because of the way I have it set up. But I'm I mostly for curiosity's sake. Red door. Why are you red? Oh, they're just. The damage literally, really depends on whatever your highest attacking weapon is. So this is the same mechanic. I mean, yeah, pretty much. Hmm? Oh, which way I want to go? That's down. We don't want to go that way. That's up, that's up, that's up. They all go up. Now, which up do you choose? enemy short. Required invisible wall, I think. No. Not required. I didn't even see what we got. It was a potion. You got an yeah, you got an next potion. It seemed like a pretty, pretty obvious, like, I don't even try and hide these walls. Yeah, for the most part, they really don't. <laughs> yes. 
Nice, nice, nice. This is a cool dungeon. I would not say it's my favorite, but I like it. A lot of X potions here. It's really weird though that the X potions in this game don't count as full heals, right? Like most no, games they do. Yeah. Yeah. Just uh, they just heal for a crap ton, that's all. They just respawn? What? <laughs> what? It has to do with the mechanic of this of this set of floors. With the red, right? Red with makes green red. active. I think it is. Mm, not exactly. Red is just a different thing. If I leave the area and come back, it's not gonna reset no, no. that. Yeah, no, it won't reset. In fact, there's a red one right here. I guess that's why. That's probably the path I have to go once I get all the reds. Mm -hmm. That's the path you can go once you have all the reds. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Abe. Abe is very nice. Ah, these enemies are so pathetic. <laughs> I don't want to go there just yet. Elixir. Portal wax? What? I'm sure that's a clue, but that Whatever. 
We get to pass. One. This uh, this is a rare. Vishnu. Nice. nice. Interesting. I'm already out of ethers. <laughs> Imp. There he is. Look at what floor, and you're on floor, only on floor 47. I could go through there, but I can go downstairs now and go to the red. I mean, realistically, we don't need the healing. Honestly, no, probably not. That thing though. Is this. I think I have to kill more reds? Your assumption would be correct. <laughs> Figured I'd come back because I didn't expect them to do that. <laughs> Day team is super beast being super A team. It would be kind of interesting if they made like a proper Dark Knight in this game. Kind of curious what they would do as one of the classes, because I would probably use it. Honestly, I would probably use it too. It just depends on how they did it. Never forget, it's not your power which or the temporal world holds so our king's own providence. These are just kind of saying the same thing. Yeah, they for the most part do. Funny how these messages were written specifically for Vaughn, calling him ignorant <laughs> and a child. Black mask. Click a moat. Second of three. You've got strength. Return once you can. Um, 
I don't know about you, but I defeated a king today. And whoosh, more magic. Oh. Yeah, I know which one. Thanks to that sweet, sweet record keeper knowledge. It's funny how I had no idea these all took place in the same place in this magic dimension. I honestly thought that this was some kind of fancy whatever place where I was just like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> thought it was like outside or something. Never once did it occur to me to go, oh, you know, maybe it doesn't take place. Well, now you know. Get rid of your stupid paling. This doesn't have a paling, he's just immune to holy, I'm pretty sure, I think. No, because I was hitting him earlier. Yeah, but everyone else is also hitting him. Whatever. Or it's just Ash casting fire all over, over and over again, who knows. Either or. He is weak to fire, I remember that. Greatest way, were, were you dead? Oh, now he's for sure dead. Honestly, I could have seen Pharos as, like, the last dungeon. Yep. Because, honestly, the battleship Bahamut isn't that special or interesting. I take it it's a pretty short dungeon, too. Yep. Comparatively. Oh, that- oh, Marco, that's just a pose if he's using, like, a great sword or whatever. Or, like, a two-handed yeah, weapon. Yeah, I've noticed the weapons matter for whatever you're playing as. Like, whatever weapon you're using. Like, if I had the Satan Gret on, he would try and put the bow in his mouth. Or, like, the arrow in his mouth, but it's invisible, so nothing would happen. There's something above me, because he keeps trying to, like, attack something. And keeps saying no available targets. Have you noticed that? He only think, brings out his sword. I think it's because Boss is trying to, to cast Siphon. What is he trying to cast Siphon on? Mm -mm. Yeah, I think that's just making fun of like, what, what, this an enemy? Can he siphon the magic out of Vaughn? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it's only from foes. That'd be a good idea, though. You can test it. <laughs> Not like I need the MP, but, eh. Not too worried about it. That's two of the four bosses that are in this stupid lighthouse. Mm -hmm. The second descent. Second ascent. So I take it you could get the rest of the reds on this floor? Nope, it's a completely new mechanic now. Wait, so the, where are the rest of the reds then? I literally have to backtrack. <laughs> How far back do you have to go for that? have to go back to the first ascent where the red enemies were. That's all. Oh, we're doing this crap again? <laughs> you must answer these riddles three. Is that like a Patrick Star we just blew off into the distance? I mean... Maybe. Maybe this was a crossover we didn't know. My knowledge was... Wait, what? Knowledge avails you not? 
We'll see what the mechanic for this part is. No map. Mm -hmm. But at least this area gives me this. I'm going to be completely honest. Yeah. There are other things you can give up to if you didn't feel like giving up the map. Honestly, I didn't even realize. I could just leave and get the map back? Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't matter. You just have to touch the altar and be like, yeah, I changed my mind. Um, I mean, I guess I'm cool with the map. Give away your money and your items. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I'm I'm fine with the map. It was just more of like a really. Okay. Yeah, they're not that much of a dick. <laughs> this is bearable, unlike the uh, the crystal, which was just like yeah, no, nice try. Yep. <laughs> was, that, was that a rare? Oh no, never mind. Take it there are secrets though in here somewhere as well with the walls. are just really good at blocking apparently a little annoying You go through the same area though, no matter what, right? I can take it if you gave up magic, you're going through magic. Mm hmm. Basically, it just depends on what you want to give up. Not mean they didn't put anything down here. Take it that it is the same for the other areas, at least I hope. Mm -hmm. All all the all the doors are it's like there's no enemies, just whichever one you felt like giving up first. Then you just move on.
Let's do like a proper loop around for the map. Oh, I wasn't kidding when I said loop around. trying to find the way that goes up essentially right mm -hmm. oh there's the path upwards but don't want to go there just yet all right the path upwards is that way good to know good to know A lot of great items on this floor. I was expecting more from the uh, late gameness or something. I don't know. Understandably, I can understand that. Like, eye potions, we're still getting those. Yeah, the, the things in the church just left really a lot to be desired, depending on where you are in the game or whatever area. You're still getting one guild chest, you know. Gotta get them one gill. Minerva bust here. I think that's good armor. Only one way to find out. What are you trying to cast Siphon on? Oh, that would explain why. <laughs> That's real good. Good job. There is no specific way, because I assumed putting it as self meant that he would try and do that then. I'm actually going to try my strat though. Ally Vaughn. Might as well see. Oh hell yeah, that works. Yeah! That's awesome! Oh, that MP. <laughs> Yo, Vaughn does not need that MP at all. That's great. <laughs> this works way better! Because <laughs> Vaughn's gonna get it back by attacking, because I think... He... Let me just check yep. his licenses. He's already getting it back faster and faster. <laughs> I think I have it somewhere in the Bushi that it's like, yeah. Increases, or like, get get it back. <laughs> It's somewhere in here. It's like, yeah, you could do that. That's hilarious that that works. But it doesn't do any damage, so yeah, whatever. Take it. I take it you've never tried to do that. No, not personally, because I never really ran out of MP. <laughs> I don't know. I guess the way you play, you probably have characters that have MP more likely. Oh, that was whatever that yeah. was. Yeah, like I said, like the only real spells I always make sure to keep on is Protega, Hestega, and like stuff like that. Maybe Sunaga if the, if need be. But I don't need like... a Sunaga, but nice to know. Yeah. 
I just don't cast as much magic unless I really need to. I get you. I have it in a way that I am happy with. Especially if Vaughn's gonna be slapping everything, then it's like, yeah, let's go do that. In fact, I don't even know if it's worth giving him ethers anymore. Now, if only Ash could do the same thing. That'd be great. That'd be perfect. Oh, hell yeah. So there is no area from tactics that you end up going to in this game, right? No, not as far as I remember. There's no tactics area you actually go into. That'd be kind of cool. You just go through and it's like, oh yeah, 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 remember this area in tactics? Yeah, we get to go there. looking at the map though it's like damn there really is a whole lot here yep <laughs> i think we're good to leave the ring like the this version of the ring oh, oh hold on hula i think that's an accessory yes i believe so I haven't missed anything yet, techniques or magic-wise, right? Nah, not on this floor. Anything on the lower floors? Other than the one that I apparently had to backtrack for? Nope, other than that, we're good. We're still good. There were two ways to go up. There's two ways to go up, I guess, but there's only one proper path. Uh, yeah, for the most part. I believe there's only, like, one real proper one. Deuce Mace. Aha! There was nothing here other than skeleton. You just got skeleton baited. Hi, my name is Vaughn. I just, uh, I, I got skeleton baited. You now I walked along, I found this wall, I thought it was a secret, and then boom. Skeleton. It was quite embarrassing, everyone made fun of me. <laughs> There's no conclusion to the story with Vaughn, is there? Because there is no story with him. Yeah, like, not, not in this game I can, anyway. I can tell that. it's. There's so little with him. He gets a little thing at the end after the credits, but like, otherwise... Mercy. He goes to the grave of Rex and says... Some stupid thing to lighten the mood. And then... It's not funny, and then it's like, it's on.
the way up. Sure the speedrun of this area is ooh. Speedrun of this area is very interesting. Honestly, I don't know. I haven't actually watched the speed a full speedrun of this. Well, you know game. where to go is what I meant. But yeah, I mean yeah. The usual scout around. What? Why? What are you trying to... Spooky exclamation. You... I'm not missing anything, right? The game's clearly telling you about something. Oh, well, pressing B doesn't do anything unless the prompt comes up. Oh, that's annoying. Okay. On the other side. That should not be the case. Yep, welcome to the weirdness of this game still. This game has a lot of really dumb, quirky things, and I really like that and I really hate that at the same time. Yep, there's definitely a lot of weird quirks. God. Man, remember Dark Souls 2 when there were, what was it, three different ways to open those walls? <laughs> you know, you could walk through it, sometimes you had to press a thing, sometimes walking up would tell you that you had to press a thing. I think some of them are, are required too, which was even worse. Gotta love some game, some game design. Fashion game design. Oh, it's that guy. But he's a regular enemy now, and not nearly as terrible. Yeah, he's not almost killing you in a few hits. <laughs> oh, nice. Thank you. There's really not a whole lot of traps in here. I'm okay with that. When a pointed path you stray by your chosen, are you led once more along the truth? That that was nothing, basically. <laughs> Suck all the MP. Keep sucking it. Best part is that he'll keep doing it. Fact. I'm gonna turn off the gambit for MP because I don't think he needs it. At all. He really doesn't. <laughs> no, not anymore. We found a good use for Vaughn. Oh, I think he'll constantly siphon without actually attacking, though. <laughs> oh, you think so? Because of the, it's a priority list for the Gambits. I mean, you're not wrong. Hold on, I'm thinking. I wish there was a way to make it Vaughn if 10%. God, if only, no. If only, but they haven't done that yet. Do so much with these, yet you can't do that. Honestly, either way, that's fine. He's a huge buffer. Vaughn kind of does everything, which I hate to say. Vaughn. Really? That's how you get up? Oh, this is a. 
is now Vaughn's story, and no one else is part of it. I think I just healed him. I think you technically did. <laughs> okay. Alright, that was pretty funny. Vile trophy. That's really mean, though, that you have to find that invisible wall. Oh, they're putting these enemies in here, too, now? Man. Prize. that for now. I know he's not going to be able to use it if he's attacking, but that way he can at least cure. It'll be good for out of battle. I just realized you brought the bow. But yeah, I did that for the uh, the rare. Hopefully the door stays open. I don't know if it does. Uh, it should. And if not, there's no real requirement to open it again. That's just convenience. I think I just did 99,000. No, you did 9,000. You no, you did 19,000. Okay, so I guess a fast way through this room is you just do that. I really wish you could just buy high ethers in this game. I could just Only. have 99 of each, and I wouldn't be out of MP. Like, of course, we have other methods of getting it, but the other one is just. I'm pretty sure it's a repeatable thing you can buy from the bazaar.
Can I have my Mac back? Muramasa. We already have one of those, though. I guess you can get two of them. Mm -hmm. Third of three. You who crave wealth, uh, joke's on you. I didn't take wealth. What happens if you take wealth? I don't think it actually matters. I think that's just flavor text. <laughs> Hello, Tiger Boy. That's not Fenrir. No. -uh. <laughs> well, the game says it is. I mean, why are all the bosses immune to holy? They each have a specific thing that we do. They're all immune to holy, though. Yeah, but they're all. They all have a specific weakness, though. <laughs> It doesn't matter, they're so weak. <laughs> I have that item, I didn't pick it up. Can I please get that? <laughs> it's not gonna give it to me, is it? Gotta wait for the victory pose. No, it's gonna kick me out. Unless it's gonna be like, yeah, nice try. You were standing in this room the whole time and the item is still there. Yep, no, I missed it. Hopefully that was nothing important. This is the end of the dungeon? Uh, you'll see. This place is a little bit too long for my liking. I don't know, the, I think it's the aesthetic of the dungeon isn't interesting enough for me to be like, alright, this is a huge dungeon. At least in the crystal, I like everything aesthetically. If that makes sense? Right. Yeah, no, understandable. That's kind of bland, the inside of this lighthouse. Like, I get it's a lighthouse, but you could do a lot more. If you really want to know, the, the chest you missed in there. Yeah. It's literally just like an X potion and elixir, a phoenix down and a cure emote. <laughs> he literally didn't miss anything. So did I touch the knowledge again? Mm -hmm. Give me my map, Patrick Star. <laughs> oh, the elevator works now. Nice. I figured it out that much. So was wealth money and items, or just items? Uh, items. You just couldn't use items. And I didn't miss anything other than that one area. Yeah, pretty much. You're still good. Not on for now.
This looks like the top. I mean, save crystal and all. A little redundant, if you ask me. Yeah. It can get it redundant. I just don't really like the mechanics. How they they just keep throwing different ones at you. Meant to yeah, teleport no. down, I take it, or is that the way forward? Uh, I think it's the way forward, if I remember correctly. Yeah, that's the way forward, okay. Welcome to the third ascent. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> Please be short. Actually, yes, this is actually relatively short. <laughs> but this also has the most important shit. Bombs? Door cannot be open from this side. Alright, Vaughn. You're agile, I think. You can probably jump that. Jumping is not a game mechanic. Ooh, the pure overlooks. Haven't seen those in a while. In terms of Final Fantasy. What do you do? Okay, you warp me to the other one, don't you? Yeah. Okay. Was the one pathway anything worth going back for? Uh, what, in the first ascent? Yeah. Yeah, they're holy. Oh yeah, no, I want that. <laughs> Don't want to touch you yet. Flare! Nice. Hey, you so this is Fork Tower. Stuff. I mean, in terms of what it holds. I guess. Have you been I to Fork Tower? I mean... You're not wrong, but still. So, do the colors always take you to the same place? Um, it depends. Let's go back to that other green sigil. Yeah. Oh. Ardor. Surprised. <laughs> oh, they did pull a Dark Souls. <laughs> Knew they would. Walls within walls within walls within walls within walls within walls. Find out what the Sigil of Sacrifice does. I think that brought me back? That did bring me back, okay. I think these are all making me go backwards. <laughs> oh, I got the urn. Nice. 
I didn't think I was going to be able to find that. Okay, sure. Uh, uh, all right. <laughs> all right. I solved the puzzle without knowing there was a puzzle. You got you escaped basically from that little area. Congratulations, you are smart. So, for the black one, first. Green is second, I assume. Only one way to find out. Fourth is white. I guess I'm glad I went here, even if by accident. It all worked out in the end. However, I gotta make sure to go to the wrong places for stuff. Unless... <laughs> there is no reason for me to do that unless... No. Nope. At this point? Let's find out. Uh... If it keeps warping me back, then... Yep, he's just warping me back. Man, that's a good way to farm, actually. That's a really good farming idea. You know, okay, that's good. So there's no annoying paths out of the way. It's just black, green, red sacrifice. Mm -hmm. And depending on the sacrifice you pick, you lose that, I guess. I guess that's pretty self-explanatory. Pretty much, yeah. So any of the greens are correct? I remember correctly, yes, any of them work. What do you mean by this area is short? You see, this area is a lot more interesting to me than the last one. The last one was just like, alright, whatever. I like the the first extent. That was fine. If I was to ever do an LP of this game, I, I think I know how I would do it. Yeah, I think I would try and do all the hunts with one team, and then have, like, the story team. That might actually work. It could definitely work, you would just have to make sure they were, like, decent. The hunt team would be decently leveled. Or at least geared. I think this is magic. Come <laughs> on. 
Did I go to the wrong place? Yes, because what did you sacrifice? What? <laughs> what did you give up in the second ascent? Oh, you have to do knowledge? So it's the same thing. Okay. Yeah, it's whatever you sacrificed. I didn't want to give up my map again, so I was like, ugh, no. <laughs> I thought it didn't matter, so I was like, alright, alright, whatever. Oh, it matters. The game keep track, keeps track of what you sacrificed on your first go through. Now, if you're gonna have, um, let's say you're doing like an optimized run of this game, unlike me, who you know playing it for the first, how do you think you would go about distributing the magicite? Hmm. It would honestly just depend on what jobs I give each of them, honestly. You wouldn't do, like, two things that are the same. Mm, I would have dupes, honestly. That's what I'm saying, like... You might have, like, two, like, night samurais or something. Yeah, basically. That's why I figured I'd ask. It's the only thing, like... The team, my main files is right now, it's like, Hunter Samurai, because... He has my killer, why not? <laughs> I think I did white mage, time mage for like the ultimate like like buffer. And then what else did I do actually? Hmm. Like it's like it's all stuff like similar to that really. So, like if you want to really optimize like one set one like super optimized set you can do is samurai knight hunter samurai white mage machinist black mage monk black mage red mage Ulan time mage what was that with the white mage uh white mage machinist interesting mm -hmm. why is that they get a gun Ooh, ultima Bad Ultima, you are probably worthless. I think I might have not have been pressing anything. Whoops. What? Because I'm not sure if you heard me the reason we, for White Mage Machinist. No, no, no. I didn't hear anything. Okay. Because I think my keys messed up or just screwed messed up. But basically, White Mage doesn't have access to as much HP on loan by the end of the game. Because, like, by the end of the game, if it was just White Mage, they would only have, like, 2k max HP, maybe? Ew. Yeah, so having Machinist gives you access to a lot more HP. Gives you access to a Stega, the Swiftness uh, ones, and also guns, which always do fixed damage. Great. Yeah, that's why having a white mage alone is never good. <laughs> Maybe early game, yeah, but you need to find this wall. The looks of it. Oh yeah, this one, yeah. <laughs> yes. 
skip another floor. I never understand the elevators in this game. <laughs> yeah, no, it's weird. So out of curiosity then, does Machinist actually get the most health? I think that might... Because that might be, be Knight. I think that it's either Knight or Shikari that gets the most health. One of those two. Alright. At the end of this shithole. Oh, uh, no, not yet. <laughs> well, I mean, the boss is here. You're that guy who I thought was a bird, apparently. <laughs> yeah, no, he's not a bird. He looked like a bird in Record Keeper. His spray was tiny. And he's dead. He didn't get to attack. <laughs> I'm not owned, I swear! Yeah, this is what I mean, like, even with Endgame, once you have both jobs, it gets even easier. Especially also with good weapons and no damage gap. <laughs> I get my MP back. Thank you. I was like, what the hell did you find? <laughs> the din of the mist grows greater. The sun crisp must be near. I wonder if she'll really do it. Take revenge against the Empire. I mean, I know how she must feel. It's hard losing someone you care about. Something we all got in common. But you know, no matter how hard we try, we can't change uh, yes. the past. Trying to be relevant in the There's story, Penelo and Mod. Still, sometimes when I close my eyes, I can see them so clearly. The illusions of the past. You think to have cast them off, only to find them years later. Unwearying, unrelenting. The past can bind a man as surely as irons. Cut the true path. But will she? Ah, I yes, know. MP. <laughs> well, no offense. I feel into MP, but. Because of that cutscene, they actually skip you ahead a couple of stairs. Interesting. For some reason, if you actually check the map, you'll see parts that are not highlighted technically now because of that cutscene. Oh, I guess I gotta go back. Hold on. If you, actually... 
Yeah, for some reason, just give all that. <laughs> That's weird. I traversed it technically. Yeah, there was an item back here. Oh, that! Wow, that's really mean to hide that there. Come on. <laughs> that's just dirty. Your case is still going. Yeah, surprise! Dirty cutscene tricks. <laughs> calm on this floor though in terms of like music mm -hmm. a lot less uh death on this floor than uh second extent yeah pretty much So this is the Sun Christ. So we finally made it to the top. King Wraithwall stood here. With this sword, he cut the Sun Christ and took its power in his hand. But you're going to use the sword to destroy the Sun Christ. Aren't you, Ash? Don't interrupt me, Vaughn. Ah. <sighs> uh. Ah, yes. Hello. Welcome to more Star Wars. <laughs> Welcome to Star Wars. We got a dungeon left. We just finished the longest dungeon. How convenient. I was just messaging one of you and honestly had no idea. Thank you for the raid. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, not planned at all. So, what exactly happened? Uh, basically, the, so the sword... I'm, I'm talking about them, it. with their... Oh, okay. You want revenge? You would have me use the stone? So, considering it says FC, I'm pretty sure we can guess what it might probably means. You would have me destroy the Empire? Is this my duty? Is this what you want? I cannot. Why do you hesitate? Oh no, it's Gabranth! Vader, hi. Look, it's Darth Vader, everyone! <sighs> yes, it was I who wore Bashi's face, who cut down the life of Delmasca. Lady Ash, I am your, your brother. Is here. You and Rex! I slew your king, I slew your country. Do these deeds not demand vengeance? Yes, Rex, the person we actually- no one actually cares about. And even Vaughn. Yes. Even Gilbert I mentioned, it's like, yes, I also Take killed Rex. Who? Like, it's not even, like, really brought up other than the beginning of the game who Rex is. Oh Hi, Stream, yo, thank you for the follow. Judge Magister there was. Two years passed. He took in his hand the midlife. I mean, you got here at the best point because, man, that dungeon was starting to drag on a little bit. He did, and Nabudis was blown away. Sid ordered this of him to learn the Nephysite's true power. That man swore never to let such terrible power be used again. Hold on, you got to do the most important one, the one that happens all the time with me. Exclamation point up time. It's been too long. Gotta put up time. It's important. 
Also, it's Phil Lamar, which is funny because he's here and so is John DiMaggio in this game. Something greater than despair. Something beyond our reach. Try as we might, Gabranth. History's chains bind us too tightly. I can't wait for Redis to die here. They're gonna like Star Wars. And what? The, wait. And what character is Redis? What? Uh, is Obi Wan. Wait a minute, Obi Wan. I mean, he's the old wise man, right? I feel like there are older people than Redis. I mean, of the people here, I feel like he's the one who, at this point. I mean, what about the ghost? <laughs> what about the ghost? He's already a force ghost. <laughs> I mean, that's true! Holy shit, no! This is even more Star Wars! <sighs> Game is just a mix of Star Wars and One Piece. <laughs> They're about to call another bus to call off on us. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course, clearly. What is the mist but just the force, right? Rassler, my prince, our time was short. Yet I know this. You are not the kind to take base revenge! I'm a ghost, the stupid. You is gone. That doesn't work. You are our what? <laughs> Pride, she killed the ghost. <laughs> It's just like, please go away. She have Soul Calibur? I just noticed that the sword is basically Soul Calibur. Look at it. Doesn't it look like it? A little bit, yeah. Not once did we rely on the Dusk Shard. Our people resolved never to use it, though their need might be dire. Never to use the Nether. Was the Dalmasca I wanted back? To use the stone now would be to betray that. I will destroy the sun, Christ. I will discard the stone. You claim you need a power? What of your broken kingdom's shame? The dead demand justice! You're wrong. Mm -hmm. No one knows how the hell did it get up here so fast and how long is he waiting? I like how Gabaranth was just chilling up here the whole time. He's just like, "Hi, I see you're finally here." He's dead. Christ, what did he do over here climbing this thing? You guys could have taken the elevator. I took it up. I mean, there really was an elevator here. I gotta do something important in D-pad. There we go. Oh no. Yet without power, what future can you claim? What good a kingdom you cannot defend? Then I will defend queen and kingdom both. <sighs> oh my god. Ha! Defend! You! You who failed Landis and Almaska! What can shame hope to keep safe? Your shield is shattered! Your oaths poison those you would protect! All right, time to kill a boss really fast. Watch how fast we. Oh, never mind. Do not think killing the Kingslayer will win you back your honor. When you abandon home and kin, your name was forever stained with blood. I. Ooh, that's a cinematic shot I didn't expect from this game. Willingly, knowing that I did all that I could. I can't wait for him to take the helmet off, and then since they both look very similar, they're gonna do like a split face. Bloodthirsting carrion birds. We'll know which one Bosh is because he'll have a scar. Eep. This is just an interactive cutscene at this point because of how much damage we're doing. <laughs> Pretty much. Enough of this. I can bear no more. I said. You disappoint me, Gabranth. He trusted you. When you bared steel against the princess, you forswore your obligations to your emperor. You shame yourself and make mockery of Lord Lars's trust. You are unfit to serve him as sword or shield, 
and Wait, what? I release you from that Whose side is Sid's on? Wait, what? No so he's. So Lars, he's with Larza? What? <laughs> I'm really confused. It is on his own side. He just does whatever the fuck he wants in this game. You are only a tool of this Venar. How quaint. We are allies. The Acuria give men power as a master feeds his dog. It is meant to tame us. How well you've resisted their wile. By turning your back on their stones, you give us free hand to write our own history. And at what price? Damascus freedom for your nephesite? I shall not suffer you to have it. The sun crisp be damned. <laughs> be sure that it is. For what other purpose do you think you brought us here? But, my lady, I would have you stay your Acurian sword. The sun crisp is glutted with mist, and so precious a thing must not be squandered. Let us use the stone. Finish this for now. Oh, are we getting two magic in here? I'm okay with that. <laughs> a, little, a little sudden, but sure. It's a good laugh. It's a really good laugh. You got a pretty damn good laugh. The guy who plays Sid in this game had a lot of fun. Both of the Sids in this game are very good. A little disappointing though, like I get I get they wanted to do original summons for the most part and you know not the traditional ones but it's kind of a shame there really is no Bahamut it's just an airship yeah that's one of the sad parts about this even like 10 had Bahamut and it was like damn Bahamut looks real good in that game you made your nether site for this you mimic the curious stone for what to become a god yourself on whose shoulders better to stand than those of the would-be gods? Oh shit, he's T-posing. He's asserting his dominance. You ran and ran and play with you. Alas, the hour of your return is late. Come, Famron. Revel in the glory of my triumph. Fam Famfrin? What? Let's see. Poke, poke, poke. Behold the manufactured nethersite. So this, this isn't even a real Esper. This is a fake Esper. Oh, this is fan for it. Okay. That's. I think that. You look more like X Death than anything. Is it both of them? Yeah, that looks way more like X Death. Come on. Okay, so he's immune for now. That means I guess just take out fan for it. I'm gonna give you a fighting chance, fan for it. I'm gonna leave protect up. Are you gonna do pour water on me? Yes, that's exactly what he did. <laughs> So good. Oh, Doctor Sid, you you're gonna destroy the entire purpose. lighthouse. Don't do that. Did we kill him? That is all 12. Yep, you're only missing the one now. Yep. The full zodiac is complete. Oh, that was Dark Cloud? Really? Oh, okay. Yeah, I, that, that definitely looked like Dark Cloud. <laughs> yes. I remember when Dark Cloud used water. Our clad's more of a electric thing. Let him buy Fenar. 
It is done. Ah, how I have enjoyed these six years. The pleasure was all mine. Ah. Can we even take on the 13th one, or is that a super boss? I technically count it as a super boss, but you can try. I don't, I'm not gonna stop you. <laughs> How much HP we tell you? Was there no other way? Don't remember offhand. <laughs> oh no. Spend your pity elsewhere. All fear. So there was no other way. Hadn't you best be off, fool of a pirate? This was the only way. See, this is Infinity War. We got all the, we got all 12 Infinity Stones. Wait a minute, 12. Yeah. How many Infinity Stones do you think there are? Obviously there's 18. Of course, yeah. Friend? Friend? The mist is too strong. The mist burns. To bursting, it beats. The cocoon. Sunkrist bursts. You must run as far as you can. Easy, friend. Hadn't you best be off? That's what a sky pirate does. You fly. All right. I love that he only has three hundred and forty thousand HP. All right, that's fair. We can do it. You can also do something dumb with him too. Ash, the sword. We had to stop it. My dumb, I mean super dumb. felt that. I mean, it's a giant explosion. Yeah, oddly enough, that fight was not in Record Keeper. I don't know why they took that out. Hmm. That's, that's a main fight. They, they did that originally. I think the idea was they wanted to do challenge events. Have some of the fights, like, a lot of the fights in five are missing. If you do the the realm dungeons, that should be there. Because like liquid flame is not there. If you look. Oh, that's a shame. I mean, don't worry, because it's in the Magicide dungeon and it sucks. <laughs> we'll now have the option of saving your. Can't wait to give these two last espers to. <laughs> yep. I think if I had done this though, as an LP, the other thing I would have done was for the last part of the game, you're given the option. Uh, I, I'd probably let people pick the party. Ooh. That's kind of cool, though, that everyone got to feel that. They just kind of felt his presence. Truly, really, he was the hero of the story. Honestly, he was the best guest character. Not, like, ability-wise, but, like, I liked him a lot. He was an interesting character. 
Now you'll never see him again. <laughs> Sid? Oh, hi, Sid. We let ourselves inside. The situation is one demanding some haste, you understand? Sid, how much have you been how drinking? Did you know where we were? <laughs> My little Who says it wasn't ready to drink all those and just left them? Things. My lady, the war begins now. Then you were unsuccessful in stopping the Rosarian fleet? I used a variety of methods, all went according to plan, until it came time to request withdrawal of our most devoted generals. Okay, for a second I thought that said genitals. I was like, yeah, I can see Sid saying that. Alright, that's a very in-character thing. <laughs> During training, a division of the resistance ignored their orders and disappeared. They were next found exchanging broadsides with the Imperials over old Nabravia. Why would they go there? They were asking to be found. You misunderstand. Those ships must surely belong to Rosarian Division. They may have joined on doors resistance forces as patriots or even mercenaries, but in reality they are regulars of the Rosarian army under direct command of our war pavilion. These fifth column has invaded the Imperial airspace and provoked a response. Unable to abandon them, His Excellency the Marquis was obliged to give his main fleet the order to attack. Now for the air battles, just like Star Wars. Should this fight drag on, Rosaria will enter the fray. The defense of Dalmasca is their excuse, and we will have a war between empires. Correct. They will buy their time waiting to strike until the Empire has spent itself against the Marquis, but then he will crush them and the Marquis both between his hands. Vane holds the Dusk Shard no longer. His advantage is lost. Vane has advantages enough. He stands on higher grounds, and my birds tell me he has awoken something quite large. Bahamut, Lord of the Sky. There was a stirring in the mist, in the direction of Ridorana, I am told. Bahamut awoke soon after this. It is the mist that came before the Christ was undone. It breathed life into this Bahamut. If Rathus had not stopped it when he did... I think the best part is the way they word it makes it seem like it's actually Bahamut. <laughs> yeah. All went according to Dr. Sid's designs. Yes, the man's last great accomplishment, I fear. And so it falls to me to put an end to the thing. Vane commands Bahamut himself? He comes to Rabanasta. Then I will defend Delmask and stop this Bahamut. This is my charge. Yeah, you know what I think? Ash really is the main character. It's more and more I'm noticing that. Well, every other character speaks of it's like, hey, I want to be in the story too. Mello has less involvement and than Bond. Is to hinder and delay this Rosarian invasion Oddly. for as long as is possible. Friend of the guy who does nothing. Do That's I me. Can. Even less. Uh, yes. <laughs> I got kidnapped that one time. <laughs> that was important. Business is done. You must come to Rosaria. I will take yes, it doesn't even care about Penelo, the other girl. Only Ash. Until then, I will be waiting. What a cool dude. I mean, you can't be wrong. You can't go wrong with those sunglasses. The whole outfit, really. The chest hair. Everything. The accent. So, at this point, now is your point of no return. Okay. So if I go to the Bahamut, that's when bad things happen? Yes, the moment you go to the Bahamut, that's when you go to the final area of the game. Okay, so first things first. On fan for it. Nothing good. Don't need those, because I'm having my MP sucked. 
Bone Crusher, nothing. Good, nothing good. Ooh. I like those options. Might have to give that to Fran. That's, that's, uh, Fran for it. <laughs> Reduces magic cost by 10. That's how small. Bilga and Arise. Steel is not worth getting at all from an Esper. Yeah, this will be useful to us, all this stuff. I'm gonna get the reduced magic cost. Bosh kinda needs it. It really does, considering how much he has to siphon. I feel like those are strong choices. So, what was the thing that I missed in that one chest that I had to backtrack for? Holy. It's pretty much the only thing you missed. At least in the upper parts. Dinosaur. Yeah, so, Maniacal, let me show you how the board works. I'm not really filling it in anymore. That was kind of the last time I had to touch it. So, the way it works is... I'm gonna pick a random spot. Alright. This is the starting area. So, I can go one, two, three, four. Alright, let's say I unlock the sword. One, two... But everything else is also unlocked. So, my next thing could be any other space. And it keeps going and going and going and going and going like that. These you get from the espers. You can see right here, that's how they get them. Only one person can get them though, each. So you have to divide the espers up willingly. They're all in the shape of zodiac symbols, as you can tell. And holy fuck, I need to buy a ton of ethers. It didn't reckon, didn't you? No, 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 I don't want to do this. <laughs> Too late now. Tier 1 race, let's go. <laughs> this is so awful, I hate this. <laughs> I just think there's a hundred levels to this. Oh my god, this controls so poorly. You know what was a good race that had me doing this? I think I won that. I can't really tell. Um, Grand Theft Auto V. Oh, I had to do that.
What was the reward for doing all of them? I'm not doing that. That's not happening. Literally just random assortment of items. Ooh. Some gill. Gross. Thought it's never worth it. <laughs> Ugh. Had a weird sneeze that didn't really just come out there. Ugh. I guess let's just go to the crystal. Hopefully I can buy ethers here. I teleport stones here now. Nothing really good though here. It's so weird. Ethers are so hard to find in this game. <laughs> um, I guess we'll just go pick up ethers real quick. We can see if there's any elite marks. Ah, uh, that is also true. We can. Maybe she moved finally. I hope so. move. I think she should have moved by the time we go over there. Let me do the important thing. Do that. I know she's not over here because I saw her move. It's just a matter of did she take the time to move? No? Not here. Oh well. Unless she goes inside. She sh she shouldn't be inside though. Yeah, I don't I don't see her. Shit, I mean she might be in the, some of the other places. What the hell? Yeah, that person says the same thing. Ixian? Belfenheim again. I gotta go all the way back to the bar. That's a little annoying. The Seer. Oh, that's all the bosses I just fought, plus a Phoenix. Mm -hmm. I mean, sure, all those bosses are kind of a joke. These are the last hunts I take at all three of them. Mm. If I have to go back there, that actually kind of works out. Tomorrow, uh, Maniacal, if you're interested, is going to be the Super Boss stream. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. We'll have to see, considering. I mean, I could pray. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so where is the last Esper, by the way? Last Esper? So, you could- so remember that, uh, the Jarhara- the Jarhara Elder was like, Oh man, you just look pretty strong, but not strong yet. Yes, I forgot about that, actually. That happened so long ago. Yeah, you're supposed to go back to when you have 10 espers. Why 10? Why not all 12? <laughs> mm.
All right, let's get first things first. We are going to go all the way to the bar. Going to the bar. And then we'll decide what to do from there. I gotta pick up a Tsunaga as well. Oh, that's right, you do have to pick up a Tsunaga. Uh, yeah, no, I did forget that. You said the last dungeon is not very long? Like that? No, it's not long. It's pretty straightforward. Pretty short? Yeah. Yo, RBD, how's it going? So, I go back to the bar. There we go. Uh, oh, yeah, because of the Ixion, right? Uh, yeah. Love that second answer. Maybe you're just tired. Very Vaughn thing to say. Maybe you just suck. He says. Dude, Vaughn, come on. Knock it off. That was the Sorobi. Probably Sorobi when it's raining, if I had to go. Oh, that, at least you did pay attention to the dialogue, but no, not the Sorobi. <laughs> Both of your hunts are at. Oh, actually, all of your hunts are at the Ritorana Cataract. All three of them? Mm hmm. Interesting. Uh, say I want the Asunaga first. Uh, I'm feeling that that boss of five bosses is probably going to be a butt. It's not that bad. Not bad, but probably you want a Asunaga for. No, Asunaga's just that nice to have, really. <laughs> So I'm going to need you to direct me to where this is, so I can get this. Uh, Once we get be in some, there. There'll be somewhere in the Hall of Effulgent Light. Hall of what? The Hall of Effulgent Light. Yeah. Oh, Ash died. Somehow. Because you're not confused. <laughs> Which one was it? The Hall of Effulgent Light. Of course, I wrong side. Alright, let's make this area a lot less annoying. It's always nice that I, to know that I could just stare at an enemy and make them die.
Meanwhile, Bosch just keeps siphoning things. <laughs> I mean, it works. These areas really have loading times that suck. Yeah, I don't know what it is about them. Sure, it's fine on the PS4. Which is weird, because you would think the computer would be the one that's okay. We would think. Switch to MOBA real quick for a little bit. Okay. Here I will not notice a difference because some people can have really good mics. Even on the phone. Oh, silly horse. Kind of incredible how much damage we do. The shopkeeper we're looking for is apparently somewhere in here. Why anyone would want to set up shop in here... I have no idea. This is a pretty bad place to set up shop. So where is this thing that I'm looking for? So he's hidden off into you know, a room, in a secret room. Mm -hmm. And you have to basically interact with like a part of the wall to even know he's there. But it will tell me I can do that, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I went into a room earlier that was kind of secret -y.
Well, this is the secret room. I know you can't really see, probably, but... This is the one that had the Mimic in it? And I forget what other spell was here? Yeah, it's the one with the Mimic. Yeah, well, the Mimic's dead, but I don't see anything. Like, it's like one of the corner walls, I think. No? Nothing. He should be there. He should be able to interact with one of them. Because it doesn't give me the prompt. Unless it doesn't give you the prompt? One of those things? No, it should give you a prompt. The prompt should show up. Like, it's like a question mark prompt, I think. Yeah, nothing. I'm gonna turn the gambits off, just... Uh, they don't waste any MP. That's the case. I'm to rub faces against everything. Because he should be in the secret room, like near the with the dead end, near the Silica Wood exit. Oh, near the Silica Wood exit? No, like, in the, in the zone with the Silica Wood exit, there should be a dead end, like, way off. Yeah, I didn't see one. Like, way too cryptic. Come on, Vaughn. Find the thing. her back up in case anything spawns. At least I deactivated all the traps. Mm -hmm, as long as you don't, like, zone out. All I'll say was the link I just sent should make it clear what I mean by like the dead end. Let me look at this.
Um, this is the right corner, apparently. Yeah, that's why well, it's odd, because you should be in the right corner. Oh, this is definitely the right corner. I'm gonna do the smart thing. Oh, this isn't a quest line. That's what annoys me, is it's like... I'm just watching a thing on head of this. That would explain why it has changed. Wait a minute, what the hell? <laughs> so apparently they changed this in the version That, that we're playing? You know this? Shit, didn't they? I don't remember if they changed it or not. It is... Okay, it's right there in the Cloister of Highborn. That's annoying. But I mean, hey, that's misinformation. That's... I can't really do anything about that. That's just a case of like, oh man, that's really inconvenient that they changed that. That's such like a secret thing too, why even change that? Mm, who knows, really. Yeah, to be fair, they made a lot of weird changes. Whatever. Yeah, this I believe. Not this room. Uh it's coming up though. I think it's this one. I know the exact type of wall I'm looking for is the thing now. Well, at least there's that. There it is. Okay. Are you able to look at the stream right now? Let me show you where this is. Oh, is that in a bad location? Yep, I guess I misremembered. Jeez. Whoops. Man, you, I could have bought high ethers this whole time. I wish you told me about this sooner. Oh, 
Honestly, I forgot he even sold pipes. I only came here for the spell. <laughs> Weird. Oh well, we leave. Now we really never have to come back here. Mm hmm. Unless you want more high ethers. <laughs> um, no, I'm good. We're gonna use those for super bosses. Yep, because the only other ones are literally in, like, is in the Pharos and one other place, really. You never have to come back to the Necro Hall. The Necro Hall sucks. Glad to never return there ever again. This had, uh, weirdly enough, this that, that room was still the most questionable room in the game. The bridge of, hey, there's a boss fight here, but you could just walk around it. Not even an interesting boss fight. It's just like, okay. It's just there to stop you if you're doing like a low level run. <laughs> but you could just go around it. I mean, as long as you know the map, probably, yeah. I have oh, no idea what that was. That's pretty loud, though. I'd like to buy your finest ethers. You know, uh, there's a bowling alley that lives upstairs. Ah, uh, yes, you host the best parties. Party of three. Sometimes we let a fourth person in, but they're required to leave after a certain point of time. Alright, first things first, I guess let's get the red stuff. Where am I going? Uh, don't just be in the first descent, pretty much. You don't have to go any higher than that. So now I can just take the elevator wherever, though. Yep. Kind of neat. Makes this area a lot more tolerable. Oh. Or or I could go to the this place. Subterra? Oh no, you're in the oh wait, no, not the subterra. <laughs> Should I leave? Well if you want holy, just leave now, yes. What is this area? Oh! <laughs> That's Ixion! Yeah, 
amazing how much um, less health Ixion has. Yep. But, uh, surprise, welcome to sub <laughs> What an evil enemy. <laughs> oh, never mind. I guess I'm dead. I'm just gonna dispel it this time. I was dying so fast that I was like, oh, we're okay. <laughs> so this is just living down here. Uh, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> It just randomly spawn? What happens? So, in terms of Ixion, yes, you randomly spawn somewhere in sub Terra. I just got really unlucky? Uh, yeah, pretty much. What else is down here for the sub Terra? Uh, your other hunt. The dinosaur? No, not the dinosaur. So you light this area up by putting in orbs? <laughs> That's the actual use for your orbs. Do they last forever? How does that work? Yeah, once you actually like light it up, they last forever. I'm just gonna leave this bow on for now. Any secret walls I should know of down here? Oh yeah, no, definitely. How big is the Subterra? Uh, it's around the same amount of zones as like the first and second ascent. It's like four different like zones, I think, if I remember correctly. Okay. Big scene can be in any of these areas. Mm-hmm. that this is another area where it's like, yeah, you kind of don't really have a mini-map. Yeah, that's what sucks about it. Ah, the one gill chest. 
Oh, you tease me. <laughs> there was nothing interesting in this floor. Good to know I was smart in picking up a ton of these. <laughs> yep, pretty much. This doesn't look as bad as it sounds like it will. No, it's just more tedious than anything else. I just want that XE in again. There's a bird. I guess that's Phoenix. I mean, yeah, basically, it's basically Phoenix. Is there a boss in every corner? No, thankfully. how this fight works. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> Please be weak to electric. You're not weak to electric. Yeah. Fair enough, because it is a hunt. No idea how to tell what element it is. Apparently it is weak to holy though. Good. They did. Who will not be missed?
I have no idea where I'm going. Yeah, that's how most people feel what's up there on the first go through. <laughs> What magic pot? Oh, you're in this game? I know exactly what to do. I have an elixir. Oh, you don't want an elixir? Did you already attack him? Yeah. Yeah, that's why he won't take it. <laughs> so, is that all that's in this room? In some rooms, yes, it's just literally a magic pot. <laughs> Does he give you anything good? Uh, not really. I mean, I, wait, no. I think you do get something back if you actually give the elixir and then kill him. Let's try that. We have elixir to spare. I guess now we kill it? Yep. Once you give the elixir, you're good. All he dropped was an ether. I guess you have to chain it? I don't think chaining it really helps as much. I don't think the loot changes to my recollection. It might though. Yay, one gill chest. Yeah. Okay, never mind. If you chain it, you can potentially get mega elixir from magic pots. I guess that's a net gain. A lot of one gill chest down here. But that's so many elixirs you have to waste. Nope, oh, I'm going backwards. Yeah, that's kind of thing. So, like, it's a nice trade off, but you would have to have a lot of elixirs. And you're not guaranteed. Yep. <laughs> Lost. No idea where I am. Oh, no, I'm going in circles again. This is why it's always nice to have a full map. I don't think it's very hard to put a full map in your game. Nope, this is the same area, again.
think this is the proper door? Yes, it is. Oh, that place sucked. Much better back to my back to the PC. <laughs> so, what exactly did you have to do? I was just to help doing a thing for my mom, but I could also talk on mobile at the same time, so what a nice mother. Missing all these one gill chests. Man, this place really does suck though. I mean, it has some pretty decent loot. Massive black orb. 30 yes. black orbs, hell yeah. Yeah, so every time you don't actually get it, they just congregate a random spot here. And this is one of them. But you don't actually have to worry about trying to grab every single one of them. Well, I lit every corner up now. I assume... There's not much of a bottom left. I'm missing something. Consider me lost. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not surprised. Let me think. Which part of Subterra are you on right now, anyway? The center ring, starting one. I mean, like the mad name. The number. Yeah. Okay, so let me think. For the penumbra interior. What I will do is keep re-entering until we get our friend to spawn. Because <laughs> I assume that cancels his own chain. Oh uh, yeah, it does. And you said Ixian can appear in any room though? Yeah, any room in Subterra. We just got really unlucky before. Uh, you got lucky and kind. 
and unlucky at the same time, technically, because of how Ixion works. Especially with how long these loading screens are taking, I might not do that. Yeah. You know. Time to get out of the panel. It's in one of the subterras. I guess while you're figuring that out, I'll keep going back and forth. Yeah, that's pretty much the best thing you can do because you can spawn any of the in any of the three floors. We already fought the Phoenix. Mm -hmm. And the T Rex is apparently also down there? Oh, the T Rex is up above. Oh, it is? Yeah. There's your other hunt is down in, in, um, in Subterra. I think we got it. Oh, no, never mind. But did you for sure light up all of them correctly? Because otherwise you could... If you did, you would be able to move on to like the lower floors. Um, I went to all four of them. They all lit up. So just giving them one isn't actually enough. Oh, I never gave any of them one. Yeah, no, you have to actually give each pedestal a certain amount of orbs. How many for each? Oh, in the first, in the first floor of the subterra. In the t for the uh, northwest pedestal, you have to put in nine, and the northeast, you have to put in eighteen. Just tell me them again when I get there, cause wanna... yeah, it's probably better just to make sure. We'd... But yeah, that's why the orbs are really tedious, cause you end up actually needing more than a stack of ninety-nine of them. And it can only spawn in the rings, the Ixion? Uh, let me think. I know for sure he can spawn in the rings. And then, let me think. And you were saying the top right one, how many do you need? Top right is, let me think. That would be northeast. That's, you need 18 orbs in there. Mm -hmm. And I'll warn you now, if you end up put, putting too much overflow you actually lose orbs that you put in okay yeah i noticed from earlier this is kind of why subterra is more tedious than anything because of how many orbs you need okay so that one's full As for your question, Ixion can spawn either in the rings, or actually in the little corner rooms. Ugh. Top Most left! Is... And the top left, you need to put in nine of them. I think the worst part is you are lucky and unlucky, because you weren't, I'm pretty sure, prepared to encounter Ixion the first go down here. I was not. But the thing is, he actually has less HP when he's in the interior rings. You very much want to encounter him in the interior rings. What is it, every time I transition a room he has a chance of just appearing? Uh, yes, I think so. If I remember correctly with him. Oh, 
Okay, this is the... Bottom left? Bottom left, you need to put in six. Great, then I think we have to do one more. Mm -hmm. And for the final one, you just have to put in three of them. these dungeons at like the bonus game is man they're all really annoying yeah they really are this self terror is really annoying and it's worse because you actually have to go through for two hunts yeah now that you've done that you can actually move further down in sub terror Bruh. i guess it's penumbra umbra then climax something yeah, basically. Go me the Ixion. Yeah. Nope, just horses. Not the right horse. The top left. All right. Since this is Penumbra top left, you need. Oh, this is Umbra top left. Oh yeah, I mean right, Umbra. Sorry, Umbra top left. You need nine of them. Love that souls can just pop out. <laughs> like the Aram in there, it was just like, oh hey, how's it going? You don't need your soul, right? You can give it away. It's, it, it is a cool detail, though. You just kill these enemies and they have a spirit living inside them occasionally. Yep, and it required one if you want to do every single hunt to get them. Uh... Wait, what? So if you want to be able to access where the hunt is, the other hunt, yeah, you have to do a light up everything, so it's like... Uh... This area didn't seem like it had anything really useful in here. It does have one really neat little item, which you won't have much use for now, but still a neat item. Let me guess. 
an ultimate weapon, but it's not nearly as good as any other ultimate weapon. I mean, no. Not in this zone, anyway. Okay. Weird, you don't get orbs unless you're in the corners. I kind of don't like that. Yeah, that's really annoying. The corner, like the inside. What was that enemy? An enemy chilling oh. out in here. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Okay, uh, whatever one this is, this is the bottom left. It's bottom left. You need 18. What, what was the ability or item, whatever it was, that I get? It's the item where when you equip it, whatever item you use has the opposite effect. Yeah, so it's the one where you can do the remedy cheeses on bosses and hunts. Because for some reason they decided this would be the first instance you can actually get that item compared yeah, to the, the original version. Yeah, at the very end of the game. Because <laughs> the only other way besides this is through the bazaar. Where was this uh, in the original game? Much earlier. Let me check to make sure if I remember, have I guess, my memory I correct. I guess it was too busted. The gas orb. First place you can get it in the original is from the Heen Mines. Okay, this is the boss. Or not. Hmm, unless that was only in Zodiac. Wait, let me see. It's either that. I know you can get it earlier than this. It might have just been from a hunt. Is there really nothing in here? Might be in the room with the accessory I'm thinking of. There's a wall that looks like it really should be fake, but it's not. Should be there because you just did the one in the in the bottom, bottom left. left. Yeah, no, you're in the room with it. Although it's only had a five percent spawn rate, sadly. Oh, that's just. Really yeah, I'm not yeah, wasting really time. No. no, there's no point <laughs> considering we have other ways anyway. Next area. This is the bottom right, I think. If it is the bottom right. Yes, it is. Then you have to put in 15 of them. 
It would make this a lot more doable. Letting me put exact amounts. Yeah. Like how you could sell an exact amount of items. Yeah, it's really annoying. Yeah, now you only have one more air one more to light up on this floor and you just need fifteen again for that one. It's funny when he uses the bow because it's just like, flick. The, the, oh, look, it opened. Yvonne <laughs> tried to do something really cool and he thinks it's cool, but it's not. <laughs> I mean, he has to hit something. I can't even tell him to really aim his arrow true because, I mean, you really aim something that which isn't really there, but it is. I mean, no, I mean, Heck. Actually, wait, no. Oof. Curse you, invisible weapons. This invisible bow is kind of dumb. Oh no! On! No! <laughs> oh, he already fired. Yep, he's already fired. Magic pot's mad. <laughs> Hell yeah, two gill chest. Oh, there we go. That's where you get it. You can get. Because unlike the original, you can get that accessory from your clan merchant, unlike now. Which is kind of understandable, considering. So you could have bought it from the merchant? But not in this version of the game. Ugh. Whatever. I don't know, a really dumb fact about the magic pots. What's that? You could use reverse yeah. on them or something? No, they have max stats and defense and magic resist. I believe it. What if I'm max level? Like, maybe? How, how much do I hit for it? Mm, I mean, maybe you can do it. I have a feeling you should be able to. Like, I mean, you can do- you can still use stuff like Expose on it. That's such a bad idea. Or, like, Telekinesis for whatever reason also works. Why? I don't even know sometimes with this game's mechanics. No, really, that's- that's just such a why thing, like, no, really, what, what are you gonna do- do with that? Because telekinesis is really only meant for things that you need to hit from range? Pretty much, yeah. Alright, fuck this. Let's leave. <laughs> so now you only have the abyssal to light up. I'm also still shocked that Ixion has not spawned again yet. Gonna be right here, watch. Give it a second. <laughs> so, a 
This soul is the one that we really care about, though. Yep, there it is. A. All right, this time I'm gonna dispel you. Wait, what? What do you mean? Oh, it's teleporting. <laughs> yeah, it's teleporting in. <laughs> I'm too clean. Thank God I don't have to deal with that crap. Nope. But now you got to the important floor of Subterra, though. Why is that? Because this has a technic. For sp and for some reason, the chest can only spawn 10% of the time. And where is it? Uh, it'll be in a, like one. Of, you remember like one of those, uh, the one-off rooms that don't yep. connect to anything else. Yeah, it'll be in one of those. All right. Um, how many for the bottom left? The bottom left will be twelve. Technic is this? Uh, Wither, one of the stat lowering ones. Why is it here? This is the end of the game. <laughs> hey man, I don't make the decisions when they when they come up with where to place these things. That should be much earlier in the game. There's also another chest, but it might be too, too more annoying than it is to get, Invisible. unlike Wither. No. Ribbon. Where is that? Ribbon will be in one of the rooms in the top, in the top left room, but it only has, the chest can only spawn 10% of the time, just like Wither. In a room in the which side? Uh, top left. And where is the Technic? Well, the Technic will be in a room connected to the top left. It'll be the one that you- it'll be the, in the room that you thought was a boss arena, but it wasn't. Like in the- in the higher floors, basically one of those rooms. Well, that actually makes it easier to get. You said it was in the top left? Mm -hmm. Top left one. And the other one's in the top right? Uh, no. Ribbon is also in a room in the top left. So they're both basically... They're both... They're both connected to it. From the top left area. There is. Nothing interesting at all on this side. Pretty much. The only interesting thing... No, I meant on... like there's literally nothing here. Like... No. <laughs> Time for this area to fill with annoying enemies that I will very quickly learn to hate. I mean, oh, on, yeah. the, on the south side, there's one neat little treasure chest. Just welcome to the floor that has the Great Trango. What, what? The invisible sword. Of course, but obviously the drop rate is so stupid. Yep, 2% chance to spawn the chest. And it's an invisible chest. Actually, it's not invisible. Ironic. Surprisingly, this chest isn't invisible for whatever reason. 
Okay, this is the bottom right. Bottom right, you need to put in 27. Can we take a moment to appreciate the fact that those enemies were called dead bones? <laughs> I mean, call them like it is. How do you know it's there? You bump into it. That's how yep, we got it, the bow. Yep, even if the chest is invisible, it still has physics. It's an invisible chest. It's not a intangible chest, I guess, right? Pretty much, yeah. Great, this is the best invisible room ever. Look, there was literally nothing. It was a secret room of nothing. <laughs> Amazing. Good good job, Final Fantasy XII. You've done it. You've made literally the best secret room. A room so secret it had absolutely nothing. No! Thon! You fool! <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> you don't have to collect the orbs. The big orb is right there. 33. Oh, poor Ash, taking the brunt of that. <laughs> Please leave me alone, I don't want to hurt you. It's all the Gambit's fault, I swear. Oh no, there's another one in here! <laughs> okay, new plan, hold on. Oh shit, the other one's still here. Luckily, they reset their aggro, apparently, when you leave. I guess that was the chest? I didn't get it. Yeah, it was a Mega Elixir, but... No, that was just a Mega Elixir chest. Oh. You said it was in the bottom right, right? Yeah, it's in this room, but it's the chest that holds it has a 2% spawn rate. Oh, it's guaranteed? Not guaranteed. You can either get not of rust, not of rust, not of rust, or the great Trango. Why? Why are there three knots of rust? It, there's just three possibility of not of not of rust. What can I say? Of course, you will only get not of rust unless you equip the diamond armlet. <laughs> But like I said, there's a stupid way we can do we can method we can use to get the great trango. <laughs> I mean there's a better method. No, I mean this is a stupid method that you might want to try. <laughs> what is it? Uh fun fact, you can steal the great trango from someone. The hunt coming up? No. Who could I steal it from? Zodiac. <laughs> Really? Well, I have to try that. Yup. <laughs> it's a three percent chance, and if you don't get it, you have to zone away two. You have to zone two away from it, and then go back in and try again. <laughs> All of the orbs. Give me the orbs.
I'll say this much, I'm pretty sure you don't actually have to collect any more orbs. Just in case. I'll keep collecting them. <laughs> Tell you when I've had enough orbs, damn it. You can only hold 99 anyway. <laughs> How much health would Ixion have had if it was in one of these rooms? Like above 400,000, I'm pretty sure. That's not bad. Made it sound like it was much worse and something a lot more terrible. Uh. Hell yeah! Three guild chests! Nice! <laughs> Come to the Final Fantasy XII uh, drinking game. If it's a single digit guild chest, you take a shot. All right, top right. How much is the top right? Uh, top right is... Let me find it. 15. And you said this one, the top right, had nothing? Yep, the top right doesn't really give you anything. For the final one, since there's only one left... You just need nine. You definitely have enough time. You take a moment to appreciate that the airmen are called dead bones here. <laughs> but they don't have bones. But their bones are dead. You don't understand. Hi, Mimic. Oh, never mind. That's just a really dark chest. Another three kill. Big shot. You know, the, the 12 drinking game, there's a lot of rules. A lot of it, it comes down to something stupid happens. <laughs> oh no! Like that. <laughs> We're getting that ribbon. You know we're getting that ribbon. Jesus Christ, it's a 10% chance to spawn the chest. Which room is it? Uh, it'll be in the top left. It'll be basically in one of the rooms to the, mo the most left room. Most left? <laughs> My favorite rapper. Are you sure this is nine, the top left? I'm pretty sure it's nine, if it's not. Not nine. Oh, that's weird. Hmm. Oh, let's just put in 10 and see what happens. <laughs> not 10. Oh, then we have to put in five. Not 15. Right, and we know it's 11 to 14. <laughs> oh wait, no, it's not even 5, 15. Hmm. And since it's not 10, it has to be between 16 and 19, I guess. I'm gonna keep putting in one. Here, though. That means this guide is wrong, which is because I never remember the numbers for these. Not 19, not 20. Was that 21? Yeah, 21. What the fuck? Guide is wrong. Amazing. All right, whatever. We never have to do that shit again. Whatever, fuck it. No more black orbs for me, even though they're really blue. Yeah. 
Dead Bone. You just really love that name. It's a great name. I think you want to room in the bottom of, of where you are right now, I'm pretty sure. I think. Do I need the diamond armor? No, not for the ribbon or the weather chest. You just have to pray it spawns. <laughs> Depends on where in the map you are. I mean, the big room that looks like a boss room. Oh yeah, you're in. That, this is where Wither would be. Wither. Mm -hmm. What part of the room is it? It's literally in the middle of the room, basically. If the chest isn't there, try again. <laughs> Maybe if I close the door, it'll. Someone will mysteriously leave it there for me. No. This is the dumb thing about 12. I don't know why these things are like that. I mean, it's better than the original 12 where, you had to, where you would have to move two screens away for a chest to respawn. This game is weird. I just like the idea that someone just put the chest down as, as we turned around, they're like, yeah. You know, like, the scene with Gilgamesh, where Gilgamesh is like, <laughs> no one will ever know, with that sword. Oh, that scene is still so good. <laughs> the fact that he comes in briefly, and it's just like, comes in so quick, and then he's like, I'm gonna take it, and then as soon as you turn around, he's gone, and then he's just like, <laughs> Uh, it's he so got good. The, he got the Excalibur though, so it's you know getting the Jape Sword is is fine. Obviously, we're gonna be fighting as Matt with only Excalibur. Oh my god! On slow speed. Just as fuck, that'll take you like a week. Don't make me do it. I'm actually curious what the hunt reason is behind Giaz, Matt, because you said it was a hunt. Mm -hmm. so where is Wither in the original game? In the original version of the game... It would be... This thing really needs to spawn. Yeah, you can just buy it at the Buff and I import. <laughs> Which makes a lot more sense to me, because by that point in the game it's like, sure, yeah. Like 75% through the game. That... For a stat decreasing... Skill, yeah, that's... Oh, there it is. That makes perfect and then, sense. Well, and then, so, this game along was like, yeah, we'll just stick it down here. Oh shit, right, I turned gamuts off. <laughs> I think what's more hilarious is... Vossler had had this, so that means he either, he went down here for this for Wither too. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> I like your theory. This big man, like the guy we beat early on in the game, came down here, went through all this shit. Well, you see, he used the glitch that lets you uh, just ignore all the enemies. <laughs> he was just like, ah, it's genius. No one will know. Oh, okay. 
I don't know what that was, but whatever. Rib ribbon should be in this room that you just entered if it spawns anyway. Stay this room. That doesn't doesn't mean anything to me. You don't need the diamond armor that you said? No, not for not for the ribbon chest. No fun! Good job again. <laughs> it's not in the room with the magic pot? Uh, let me wait. I have to see where in the map you are. Yes, yeah, let me show you the map that is non existent. Well, I can kind of tell from the map. Time to zone and out. Basically, once you go in, you want to take the left door and just keep going left to get to the room with the ship. Let's <laughs> turn my gambit off. Hold on. Hello there, friends. Yes, I totally didn't hit shoot you with my invisible bow and arrow. Well, it's invisible. And he can't prove that. Well, you can't have evidence if it's invisible. Perfect crime. Quasimodo boots. Not it. That it's the room over here, not the room with the magic pot, right? Mm -hmm. Not the room with the magic pot. What corner does it spawn in? It'll spawn in the top right corner of it, if it does spawn. I'm getting that ribbon. I want that ribbon. <laughs> Giving it to Ash. Yes, be immune to almost every single status effect, have permanent regen and Libra. The best healer. It also gives you slight defense boost compared to the original version of it. But really, they just made it even stronger. <laughs> It'll be nice because I don't have to have a lever on someone anymore. Just for traps. I wish this game let you actually see what people look like in armor in most Final Fantasy games because it's like that'd, that'd be kind of nice. A little detail. Yeah, that's one thing I'll uh, I'll say I give to the MMOs because like you can actually see how they look, your character looks into different armors. Yep, and glamour exists if you think it's ugly. Yep. All right, I'm a la la tank and I'm wearing a suit, a sexy bunny outfit, you know. That's that's my tanking gear. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes, that's basically what Vaughn is wearing. I mean, it is. He's the tank. You can be like all the guys playing girl characters. I will be in a swimsuit as a tank. Or you can be me, who wore the butler outfit as a dark knight. I was an elf. <laughs> Let me serve you some edge. No... I should have said that. <laughs> it just looked really classy. I had it like a green, a green dye for it. It was real good. My guy was extremely classy. His monk outfit was the Setzer outfit. Oh, nice. 
Yes, a very good punching outfit, right? Yeah, no, that's pretty good. Now, of course, he didn't have any punching weapons. He just used his fist. He used the invisible fist, which I guess they kind of got from this game. I mean, maybe. All the fist weapons are ugly. There is no good fist weapon. Oh, no, the only good one is the tea kettle. <laughs> tea kettle's good, but it was too much work. Even then, I'd probably still use the invisible. I like the idea of a really classy man just running around, like, slapping everyone, just going, no. <laughs> I forget what my priest outfit was. Or priest with right mage. That's like the common MMO term, so I'm just like, yeah. That's the same thing. He was wearing some kind of, like, blue and white outfit. I can't remember what it was. They were robes. I think nowadays if I played and I made like a ninja, I'd probably have it be rabbit because in joke with the rabbit that you could spawn. But I die a little every time in Rayo if I accidentally bunny. That could be the difference between a successful uwu and an uwu wipe. God, it's so true. Got a, got a uwu. <laughs> I still hate that they call it uwu. <laughs> uwu. Uwu indeed. I can't tell if you're asking what uwu is or... We're doing the face. Uwu is ultimate weapon. I guess it would be ultima weapon ultimate, right? Yep. I was thinking ultimate weapon ultima, but whatever. The name is stupid. It's a very stupid name. The community agreed to call it Uwu. The community. Someone called it Uwu and everyone was like, oh my god, you're right. It is Uwu. At least it's not called Ugu. Or Owo. True. Oh, Very whoa. true. President, please give me a weapon. Anything for you, Mr. Vossler? Actually, no, it wouldn't be Vossler, it would be Vane. Yeah. Anything for you, Mr. Vane? <laughs> Perish. I'm gonna turn these gambits off again. I'm not wasting. It's such a great name, though, calling it Uwu. <laughs> it would make this a lot more doable if the doors didn't open so slowly every time. Yeah. Yeah, they were able to fix the slow speed on other things, but not the doors. My four times speed it can only work on so many things. Oh, excuse me, is this not an emulator? Uh, no. Can't you tell by the door going at normal speed? Finally. These women. Got yourself a ribbon. Congratulations, you got a ribbon. <laughs> Alright. I can finally take off Libra from one of my party members. Fuck, I don't even know what to give you. <laughs> Reduce MP cost. Hell yeah. All right, we can finally leave this shithole. Yep, you can finally go to the final floor of It's just Sub boss? Mm -hmm. It's just so it's the, the other bosses, and then... Let's see how it works. What, what was the point of the Phoenix? Because you killed the other three up above. You had to kill that one, too. <laughs> that was basically it. What? So were the other... The other is part of the hunt, too? Mm -hmm. You'll see. 
you'll see how they incorporate it. Oh, um, okay. No, 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 Vaughn. <laughs> First of having two good stuff. I need to turn gambits back on. Actually, okay, do it. I'm happy to finally have Riven, and it only took the very end of the game. <laughs> Let me bring out a fair weapon. Adana. I'm surprised they're not using Excalibur. No, because remember they resisted holy? Ah, uh, that's true. <laughs> Serum. He died before he could serum. Now oh, you see how they incorporated it. <laughs> Yes. So it's one boss and he just summons the others. Mm -hmm. Does he summon the Phoenix? Oh yeah, no. Yep, he summons all four of them, that's why you had to kill it. Oh don't worry, this uh, this one was the most annoying one technically. Fish. Fish. Because the other one is smart enough to know how to go damage immune. <laughs> this, this is a cool hunt. I like this one. Yeah, now you see why they had you do those, so, like, different dimension stuff. I assume this has to do with, like, some kind of Japanese... Phoenix... Turtle... Tiger, I guess, even though he's really supposed to be a wolf and fish? Mm -hmm. there, there's something I'm missing, right? Like, it's, it's some kind of mythology? Uh, if my reference... if I'm correct, it, it's the reference to the... That has big origins in Chinese Chinese mythology, like representing like the four compass directions. Interesting. You know, Biako is the uh, Biako Gambu stuff like that. I wouldn't know about that. I mean, yeah, really, that's that's not my expertise. Four directions of the night sky. Thank you.
Right. Also, more people are finally clearing Uwu. And on stream too. Today, Mr. Happy and his group cleared it. Nice. And it, and it was actually pretty funny. When it was, went down to 3% and they were going, it was starting to cast the enrage. He just kept saying, You're my bitch now. Imagine if they did this fighting record keeper too. No. <laughs> Please die already. This was a cool hunt. I like this one. This might be one of my favorite hunts. Challenging, but in a good way. <laughs> the seer himself is honestly kind of weak. Yeah, like, I mean, he has high level magic, but for the most part, like, he can only really target, like, one person. So it's I like... figured they were going to do a cutscene for how much dialogue he had. Really, though? No? Yeah, no, that's, that's just it. A little disappointing. Or how grand they wanted to make that. Mm -hmm. But eh, what can you do? You're pretty much done in the Saltera though. Okay. First floor. If we get the dinosaur and holy, we're good to finish the game. Mm-hmm. Because the only other things you're missing is just some magic and techniques which you can just get on the way to Zodiac anyways. It's like meh. Oh yeah, we, we gotta do Zodiac too. Where is Zodiac? First you have to talk to the Jahara Elder first. Okay, so how far up do I have to go to get the... Uh, for Holy it should just be like... The first, the moment you can see the red enemies. I think this teleports me up. The waystone should. This took me to the green area. That's what I wanted. Alright, now to find these enemies so we can get holy. Then. Oh, that's the elevator. That's why that's there. Ten, thirty-one, forty-eight, and fifty. I was wondering why this basically went nowhere, that secret wall. I was like, what? I saw there was no wall there, too, and I was like, whatever. So these are dead, so they're permanently stoned. That's what that meant from earlier. Which means you got those ones. Yep. They're just nice little decorations. <laughs> I mean, they do look pretty neat. I see they would make, actually make a really cool candle, like a real life. Or oh, like I totally own one of those. I could. It's like have it out for Halloween or something like that. It's have like, it out for Halloween? What kind of pansy are you? Nah, you put what? that out all the time. 
Leave it out all the time. Damn. Go all in when it comes to this shoot. Oh man, you can even... You could also potentially make jack o' lanterns for the of these two. <laughs> oh, I'm sure someone has. In fact, that's something to look up. Mm, you're right. Yeah. What are the enemies called? Their family. God, uh, let me think. I know they're in Record Keeper. What? Oh, okay. Apparently there was one I didn't kill. That was a green one. Okay, yeah, they're just called, uh... Dances? Torches? Uh, let me, let me think. Brain pans. Brain pan? Yes, that's what's, what the enemy here is called. Which is apparent, the species name is Facer, okay. Facer. A really lame name. Immediate search results does not show anyone who made a jack-o'-lantern in that shape. Probably should have asked you and then forgot to. Where is Holy? Uh, yeah, good question, right? Yeah, it's, it's in the third flight, the Wellspring Ravel. That's where I am. Yep. Do you remember where you got Gungnir? Yep. Like, like you know, equip that. <laughs> like if you look at the, your at the big map, you'll see like That's... you know. Wait, In hold on. Top. Why is it fire? That's Odin's thing. That should be lightning. Ugh. Also worse than the dragon whisker? This is harder to get! <laughs> Whatever, game. Whatever. Yeah, you see in your big map where... In the top... Uh, right corner that's lit up there? That's part- that's technically part of the map? Yeah, that you have to go to the hidden path there. Yeah. Oh, damn it. Okay, never mind. It literally is just my keyboard. Yeah, I need to find a way to get across there, though. You said there are red sconces is what I'm looking for? It should be the red ones you have to kill. Oh, I don't see them. Oh, there's one. Are they all in this area? Oh, they should be. Oh boy, a bangle. <laughs> At this point in the game, yeah, I definitely need that. Like, not like I could buy them. Technically, Bubba, what he's doing is pretty much post game. Because, yeah. Huh. Yeah, the super bosses are going to be tomorrow because I have to finish this tomorrow. Like, I don't have a choice. I kind of had just have to.
Yeah, if, if there's not enough red here, you can just go up and I think you should still be able to find some. And then you just come back down, if need be. Seems like the reds respawn. Do they? They, they do. do. They do. What? That's weird. We gotta get one more red. Whatever. Uh, there was a path downstairs as well, which was kind of whatever. We're only here for the red ones anyway. And then once we get holy, we're good. Never return again. Well, no, you gotta tell me where the, the T-Rex was when the T-Rex in here. Oh, the T-Rex is outside. Oh, good. That's much better. Mr. Tyrannosaurus Island. What you doing up there, Mr. Vault? Can't say no. Okay. I, I still love that commercial, the, the dumb Volvic commercials. Thank you, Talon. It's... That was, that was the other thing from that commercial. I want to say that was like a British commercial. I've never seen that airing. Um, it might be. I don't remember that much about it. It's like... Then again, I also rarely watched TV when I was younger too, so... Obviously you didn't have a childhood. I mean, played Final Fantasy XI, but you definitely <laughs> didn't have one. Yeah, so I just go upstairs? Yeah, they'll probably have to just go upstairs and come back down after killing another red one. Okay, that's another red one. So what was the other path that I needed to go to? Take it easy, Markram. Get some rest. Never mind, I still need to kill more. Damn. No, that's... The holy is the only thing you need to get here. Yeah, I don't really care what's there, I just want to know what it is. It was on the floor below. Uh, I mean, it's just really just... Brand, like, a remedy, power armlet, stuff like that. That's holy. Let's leave! trying to remember which way the exit is because it's like <laughs> map is so disjointed yeah. yeah there's something over there and it's like yeah kill more reds uh, let me think if it's there It's nothing really worth it to you. What was it? Just like uh, a bow, I think. And a bow? The Satan Grat? No. You know, I what really makes this a good weapon? It's not even the damage; it's that it's a ranged damage. That's really good. So, like, it's one thing to do good damage, it's another thing to do amazingly ranged damage. <laughs> and also be invisible. Well, I guess I never touched that waystone, so I had to describe the stone to me before we used it. <laughs> hear ye, hear ye, here be the stone ye. All right, where am I going? Oh, you'll see it. Is that him? Yep, that's the boy. Special boy.
Jack Haston is favorite. Yes, fuck you, hit hard. It's like you're some kind of T-Rex. Go, go for the tank. 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 Alright, time for B-Team to do its thing. <laughs> B-Team! Here come that B-Team. Two of them died already. <laughs> Oh my god, uh, the movement actually game over. <laughs> you defeated the guy downstairs, that guy was my servant! Spawn's alive! Kill it! Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know why he just kind of aggroed to someone else, that was really weird. You saw that too, right? Yep, I saw it. You just went straight toward Ash. Yeah, normally people like to go for the tank. I like to go for the healer. Yeah, you know, I figured it was a good strategy. You're, you're more likely to survive if you take out the healer first. It's the smart thing, you know? Stop doing that right now. Oh, no, he killed Healer. Damn, a five hit combo. See that? Nice. Okay, we're guaranteeing the kill this time. Uh -oh. Remember when I said guaranteeing the kill? I lied. Now. No, I really don't agree with making her an ice elemental. Because, like, she lives in a forest, and I don't think she really knows what ice is. I mean, she left the forest. Yeah, she left the forest, but, I mean, I would give her something more nature-y, like wind damage. Nonsense, no, we just gotta give the more yeah, ice. All the ice. I never noticed that he says here she comes when, when the meteor falls. There's like no music in this area too, it's really weird. Yeah, there's some odd placement of music. And odd placement of no music. Just keep using Feral Strike. Oh, that's it. Please die. Inferno. Man, you got lucky. He's actually weak to fire. <laughs> ET. T minus Penelo who died. 
Really? That was so good. Wait, no. Yeah, what am I doing? Okay, so what we need to do is we need to go... Two of these were at the bar. Mm -hmm. Two of these are at the bar. One of them, I think, was just from Mont Blanc, right? Mm -hmm. One was from Mont Blanc. Mont Blanc. Blech. I don't have to do a stupid race again. No, he won't, thankfully. Suck if you did have to do. If you did, though. God. I don't know so why bad. he just randomly says, ah, you know what I'm going for your, uh... That's like the most unconventional tanking methods because there's no way to generate aggro in this game. Yep. <laughs> so it's like, please don't do that. Hey, I killed that horse. It sucks. I have no use for this sword. It was <laughs> worthless to me. I mean, that's really not the strongest. Wait, Grand Mace? What's the, what's the Grand Mace? Well, I mean, for one, it's a mace. It's way shittier than Bone, which is, I guess, a mace. Yep. <laughs> bone. First things first, buy more ethers. Ah, uh, Raven asked her how I missed you, so it was nice and scary in that hellhole. <laughs> what are we, 74 now, I think? Let me check. Yep, you're pretty high 75. level, honestly. Three-fourths of the way there. Yep. If you felt like going getting to Zodiac shouldn't be too big of an issue for you. Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> Otherwise, we can just finish the game and deal with Zodiac later. No, I think it's appropriate to do it now. Real question is, do you want to try and steal the Great Triangle from him, though? <laughs> I mean, we'll try it once, and that's it. We got the Deathbringer on the first try, right? Yeah, but the thing is, you can steal all the things from him, too. Alright. Let's see if this is, uh, lady moved again. If not, she's in uh, some other area. I don't really care. Amazing, she isn't here. Right, that means she she's in one of the other areas. God damn it. Oh well, whatever. At this point her reward is that worth it. What was the other reward anyway? So if you were got the plus four, you would have gotten a rune blade. If you Which... got plus three, it would have been a hunting crossbow. If you did got either between plus two to minus two, you would have just gotten an ether and two high potions. So wait, how Minus do I three. how do I get the the last hunt? The last hunt? Yeah, the Ismat. He said he doesn't have any more hunts. 
Oh, you have to kill Hilvern first. Ah. Uh. Okay. That's all I need to know. What was it you were saying, though? And then, let's see. Uh, if you got minus three with her, she would have given you a firefly. And minus know what that is. And I assume that's a bomb? No, it's actually an accessory. It's an accessory that ga makes you gain zero EXP. Oh, right. You had that at the start. And then I said, nah, fuck this. I'm selling this. Why would I ever use this? <laughs> and if you got minus four, you would have gotten a, fuzz a fuzzy miter. Which makes you immune to petrify. Actually, I guess there's kind of a strategy to that. But what? how is the rune blade? Uh, it's like... 70 base power not very good by the time you get it no it honestly depends on how fat how when you actually went to her to get the questions basically like if you did them immediately after the appropriate story arc it would have actually been a decent sword but otherwise yeah but what was that like if you got like if you went to answer her questions like immediately after each spe specific point when you could it would actually have been a decent weapon Ah. But if you, but if it was very scattered, nah, not so much. And then by the time you want the accessory, it's like, I already have better. That whole quest is just a bad side quest. It's like the side quest in Final Fantasy IX. In fact, it's actually the exact same side quest now that I think of it. Hey, you beat a boss? Okay, cool. Hey, you beat another boss? Okay, cool. You beat all the bosses? Alright, have a really shitty ring that lets you prevent paralysis, I think it is. <laughs> Alright, so Jahara? Mm -hmm. Where are we at? Uh, at the very end of the game. Yep, he only has the super bosses and uh, the end of the final boss to beat up. <laughs> You really have not missed anything. Which one was it that we're looking for? Uh, it'll be one of the chiefs near the entrance. Or close to it. I think it was a guy sitting down, right? Yeah, it was a guy sitting down. Not a guy snoozing. No. That, that guy's real relaxed. <laughs> He's just sunbathing, man. Of course! You lead me to the Geomancer! You lied to me! <laughs> right before Fiesta 2. It was my plan all along. Okay, so which way are we going to get into the mines? Well, you can just teleport in. Okay. Place your bets. What classes am I going to get for a fiesta? Wizard only. Also, hello again, Red Burning Dragon. Yeah. Right, you know what? I'm going to actually see. I'm going to let's see. From Wind Crystal. Hmm. I'm gonna say for the wind crystal, you might get. That has the best options, really. Any of those three, I'm okay with. God, that's the worst part. All those are good. Maybe blue mage, I guess. I'm fine. I think you'll probably get blue mage, and then the water crystal. Hmm. Where am I going? Uh, basically, this should be. Uh, go to where you fought the boss earlier in this for the story. That gate is now open for you. I don't remember where that was. Really, right above the safe crystal. <laughs> okay, that's what I thought it was, but I wanted to make sure. Yeah.
Do, do, do. Find me just setting up gambits. <laughs> so fun fact, there's actually another ribbon chest in this new area. <laughs> oh, it's not yet? <laughs> yeah, but there's a ribbon chest around here too. In the new area that you can now go into of this area. Nice, what do I have to do? It's literally just a 15% spawn. Where is it? It's in the zone right before you fight Zodiac. Which also contains the chest for Addo, which has a 10% spawn rate again. Which one is that? That one's the other stat lowering technique. Okay, I'll have to get that one as well. And then Rindu, and then you should have every technique and magic, I think. I think. If not, oh well. Dueling mask. Uh, also, I'm gonna say for water crystal, mime. I Unless can't that get doesn't that. count as magic. Does not count. Shit, damn it. Shit, never mind. Also, okay. that's impossible to get for that run. Mime is only for very specific fiesta runs, because you can only get it from fighting Gogo. -Go. Oh, that's right. So, does not count as a water job, actually. Believe it or not. It counts as a bonus job. Mm, then your only options are Red Mage, Time, and Summoner. All of those are good? They really are. Red Mage is just annoying to grind as though. I think you'll get Summoner, though. So, remind me again where the ribbon is and the other thing that I'm looking for? Uh, both of them are basically in the zone right before Zodiac. And, they're, and of course, this area is full of hidden paths. Formal Halt. I think it's Zodiac is that one right there, the big room. Mm hmm. And then, of course, for Fire Crystal, we know you're just gonna get Geomancer. <laughs> I don't think there's any other options. I think there's like one option. There isn't. <laughs> the rest are just physical attackers. Chemist counts for it... some reason, I guess, which I'm okay with. Chemist is like absurdly broken. I know. You're set with Chemist, like. <sighs> Hell yeah, Chemist. Chemist, yeah, you win the game. I just had to open the uh, the Google Doc of mixing. <laughs> pretty much, yeah. That's my chemist name, Google Doc. Doc Google. fighting in here. I know, that's just this little interaction they have still. Enemies fighting. Yeah, it's just like this one specific area. It's like, yeah, everything is fighting. Yeah. Mithril sword. Great! Cause at this point in the game, I need that. If you go to the, the Fiesta site, I think it'll actually tell you, I could be wrong, what every Team 750 count says. Cause that's what I'm doing. Kara. Wondering where we're gonna get that.
can't find it unless I actually like register for the run. I don't think I can find it. It's under help. Is it? Yes. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay. You just have to know what the icons are. Wait, why does part count? Kind of magical. Dancer two. Because you said it's Team Seven Fifty, right? Yeah. Then yeah, you can also get Dancer. Okay, wow. I, I don't agree with that, but okay. It's weird, and chemist counts in Bard, okay. Hmm. A new chemist counted. So which ones are part of the same crystal that is uh, Geomancer? Haha, <laughs> just asking for a friend. <laughs> um, Bard, actually. Okay, great for Bard. Zodiac is in every version of 12, right? Yes. We're gonna fight Yzmet? Not today. We're gonna be doing that another day. Tomorrow, that is. Pretty much. <laughs> Don't worry. Yuka will be very prepared for it. Yes, everyone in my party will magically be 99. Yep, From gardening. With four times speed. Grinding. In fact, we're gonna call it 99 times speed. Is that a rare? Flaring eye. Ooh. Nice, you did get the rare. Gravity mode. I wonder who the hell thought it was a good idea to steal in here. Ha. I don't know what's even funnier. But you can you can also put you can also potentially get the zodiac spear in the same room where you can get renew and Addo. I mean same zone. Really? Yeah, but it's a one percent chance for the chest to appear unless you manipulate RNG. <laughs> this is way more annoying than every other time we pressed a button. They're just really high level bats. Holy fuck, that was so much damage. Let's never have to press that again until I need to press that again. <laughs> what was the point of pressing that? Did that change that much? Um, I don't think it I, did. I think it changed something, I just don't remember what. No, I really don't think that changed anything. I think it opened a shortcut, maybe? Uh, I think so. And also close the door on the way you need to go. <laughs> Pressing the button again. I'm not even sure what would be the best way to take those bats out. Probably wind or earth. Because everything that flies in this game is for some reason weak to earth. Oh hey, we got the rare enemy again. Oh well. Post game doesn't start until tomorrow, don't worry. That will actually be you. A decently long stream, probably because of it. As opposed to these ridiculously long streams. Yes. <laughs> We're just getting this, then going to the final dungeon. If you're wondering, those bats are weak to holy. They are. Oh, 
mean, he, he basically is done. We're just doing this because why the hell not? I got another rare enemy. Man, these guys just shit at rare enemies, don't they? It also helps that it's not a trophy enemy, so... I mean, I would prefer it be a trophy enemy. <laughs> Do you want another repeat of Dismal? Well, if I kill it once, it's dead forever. Alright, so remind me again where the items are, and then I can start looking. Uh, for the most part, they're either in a dead end or hidden in a path. Was this the same name as the mine in 14, or am I going insane? I think you might be going insane. Wasn't there a mine in, in 14 that you go in? Uh... Not the same no. name? Because you're thinking of Copper Bell. That would explain why, but it's been forever since I played 14. It's true, so you get a pass. Unlike you with your memory of telling me to go places that are different. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, go here. It's, uh, it's definitely where the thing is. Very colored versions. I mean, Tom Berry don't exist in this game. What a shame. <laughs> What's even the point? That's Yiz, Matt. Or not Yiz, Matt, uh, go to Ark. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's so nice that Ash has a ribbon. She's immune to. <laughs> immune to everything. Some reason berserk. Why? Don't know. I guess because you can technically use it for strats. I guess the strat is really just take the fucking ribbon off. <laughs> we should be able to take on Zodiac just fine. Uh, yeah, you should be fine, honestly. Does it even Once unlock anything on the license board? It does, actually. For how late in the game it is, it better not be that good. <laughs> I don't even know what's casting Doom. There's like... One of two enemies that could be casting Doom, and they're both terrible. I think it's I think it's the Tonberry looking motherfuckers. Yeah, it is. I think anyway. Renew. Nice. You he, he got the spell here. Now, now we have to hope the chest with, with the Technic spawns. <laughs> uh. Renew was which one? It's a white magic. Oh, oh yeah, we're giving that <laughs> on the gambit.
the, we got one of the two things we're here for. Where's Ribbon? You just really want the, another Ribbon, don't you? You know what? In one of the dead ends. That doesn't help me. Uh, it's in the dead end in the... Right? On one of the right sides? On the right side, anyway. Like, the right half of the area. It'll be on the top, topmost dead end. Really hard to describe. Cause it'll be, it'll be the dead end you can actually see on your big map. Hard to tell because there's so many dead ends that are actually not dead ends on the map. Yeah, yeah that's the worst part. But it'll be one you can actually see, like, it'll be like, Smack dab in the middle, it, I guess. Give me a really bad flashback to those like. What were they? They they were like chips ahoy. The commercials where it was like I'm squeak in the middle. You know oh the commercial God. I'm talking about? I think. Smack I dab do. in the middle. <laughs> Don't like uh, fucking chips ahoy. <laughs> Whatever happened to good commercials? I feel like uh, no one ever talks about commercials anymore. Where it's like. I can't really say I hear people talking about commercials today. Yeah, I also it's not even like... a nostalgia thing. It's like actually like no, really, I never hear this. Yeah, no, you really don't. Also, you were in the room where it, the room it could be. Which room is it? The one I'm in right now. Mhm. Mm the one I'm you at the map. Yep. It, that has a 15% chance to spawn. Have fun. Commercials are just bad. I agree. Not wrong, but some of them are bad that they're actually decently funny to watch. I guess I could just run into the Zodiac room and they just keep leaving. No, you can't actually. Actually, no. Wait, no. That one is the only one you can leave, I think. Weren't you saying Whatever I could reason. leave and steal? Yeah. <laughs> Part of the reason I'm killing everything, so I could just run away easily. Good plan, right? I mean, yeah, that's the strat if you want to steal multiple great triangles. <laughs> I only want the one. Is that better or worse, though, for Yismet? I mean, it's just a really good sword. That's pretty much it. It's the strongest one-handed sword without any, like, buffs or anything. In just terms of pure damage. Terrible enemies. <laughs> oh shit, I'm pacified. Damn it. Oh, don't want to go there. Yet. I thought so. Okay, they're spawning. Ooh, a set of lordly robes. I might be able to equip that. I don't know if that's actually better or not. What do you think? Honestly, it honestly depends on what you think, because, like, she can do some good physical defense. I mean, physical attacks, but it's like, hmm. She's also just also your mage, too. That's the thing. Both here, the that. The Genji outfit is probably the best for you. The one-handed axe is actually better than the dragon whisker? 
I mean, remember, axes and hammers are very random in damage. I guess that's true. The only reason you would ever actually use or a an axe or hammer is for telekinesis, because that relies on the attack power of the weapon. Interesting. So theoretically, I could just have her only do telekinesis? I mean, if technically she can. Threat? I mean, yeah, it definitely is. God damn it, how many enemies are there? <laughs> the problem is they keep fucking dividing when I kill them. I do like that you can kind of tell there's an Esper here. Like, you already knew that in advance. But you can kind of see the mist and kind of get that impression that there is one. Mm -hmm. Especially if you've already been to like other optional espers throughout the game as well. I guess I never really thought about it until like now, but it's like, yeah, no, that, that's still. I think they're all dead. I'm gonna pray they're all dead. Nope, they're not dead. <laughs> Gotta love the undead sometimes. I get unfrozen. You wait. Look at how much HP it has left, too. Emo, it's like, why aren't you slowed? Can we cure it to death? I mean, probably. Yep, all undead are susceptible to cure. Yes, yes, yes. I'm gonna die. Oh my god, please stop spawning. Time for Thief Gambit. There we go. Remember, it's a 3% chance. Not really. We're gonna try it once, and then just say fuck it. <laughs> Interesting. I don't like its design. <laughs> You read, when you read the lore about it, you'll see why it's designed like this. But what, what are you doing? Stop that. Stop it. I guess do you want to read the lore? For Zodiac? Oh. Prize. <laughs> For the reason why he's designed is like this, because it actually says in the bestiary, strongest of the scions created by the gods, they feared his growth and so kept him a child. Aww. Like, nah, bitch, you can't let you get stronger. So if he does that, he just insta kills everyone, no matter what. It has a potentially, potentially can kill everyone. Or just got really unlucky. Yep. Why this is the rudest esper? Oh, 
Irventarius, is that it? Nope, that's actually just another item you can use use for bizarre stuff. <laughs> Whatever. We're using the Satan Graph for this. Said it has a chance to kill everyone. Every time he casts it. What's the percent chance? I have no idea. It's that percent chance. Yes, it's that percent chance. Really want to know the percentage on like him casting this? Oh god! Well, we lost. <laughs> Good fight. He's the hardest Esper for a reason. It's doable, though. Oh, it starts me all the way over here? Ooh. Yeah, that's the bad thing, right? If you die to him. Do I at least have Renew? Don't think so, you can check. I do not. Okay, new plan for Renew. We're just gonna get it tomorrow, magically. Like the way I think? I mean, you can just get it now. Give yeah, it a percent chance. No, no, Renew is always gonna be there. Wither is the one that has a percent chance. Okay. Where is it? New? It would be in the bottom dead end. Bottom right? Yeah, bottom right. I mean, I'll check everything for everything. Then we can just try and take on Zodiac tomorrow. Or later today, technically. No, we can beat it. Not hard. Oh. <laughs> okay. We got the ribbon. Actually, yeah. Oh my god. Most things you get the ribbon first before the addle. <laughs> and where's the other thing? Oh, uh, you mean addle? 
Yeah. It's in a t it's in a hidden pathway right above where you get renew, or above where you get renew. How's it going? Uh, making progress. Gonna fight Zodiac in a moment again. He died. <laughs> you could discover how rude he could be. King's Ring and Dark Souls. Which one was that? That's not the one for beating the game without dying, was it? Or using a bonfire? There's something stupid like that. Oh, after oh. the one you get after the king. Okay. Yeah. That's what I thought it was, but I wasn't sure. You said it was right now. So this is the bottom right of the map, and you said it was on a hidden path where from the bottom right? Oh, you you were just actually in the hidden path. I'm pretty sure. Because you got renewed, right? Yeah. Yeah, you were just in that hidden path that it was in. If it didn't spawn, you just have to zone out and zone back in again. We're leaving so I can make sure to auto save for the ribbon. Instead of lordly robes. Let's zone transition. I think Gerard mentioned he's not doing that. I, I don't remember if Gerard has to redo Dark Souls 2. Do you know? I don't remember if he does. Gerard. One of the biggest inspirations for the hard work he does. But also, I would never recommend anyone get that ring. God, yeah. Um, it wasn't that he gave him. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, no. <laughs> really funny though what you have a second ribbon you could have given that to bond to avoid confusion i'm not doing that i have the thief's glove on remember oh that's right because i mean if you're trying to get the addo otherwise yeah was it the cave that i'm in right now path i'm in right now no I don't think so. Thing I have no clue, and neither do you. Yeah, no, it's definitely not because you just gotta have stega moat. So it's where the is near the haste moat. No, it's not. Definitely not that area. Yeah. 
Not the one with the giant rock in it, right? No. And it's just in the center of the floor? Yeah, it should be somewhere in like one of the hidden tunnels. Damn this game and its obtuseness! All else fails, I'll just give you a map to make things easy so we can just go through. That's an option. Made a DreamWorks kiln. Wait a minute. What? DreamWorks kiln, what the hell? Workspace? Oh wow. Oh yeah, Maniacal, you're just in time to watch uh, attempt number two of, I guess it's sort of a super boss. I honestly count it as one. I wouldn't. But I can understand why people do. <laughs> Mr. Curse Puppet. <laughs> Attempt number two. We're gonna steal and then call it a day. <laughs> and by call it a day, I mean murder it. Don't kill me. But yeah, I only killed one person this time, nice. It couldn't steal anything, which means it's still got something. Mm-hmm. Okay, that. Okay, here's the percentage. It's fifty percent chance to kill you with that. Make elixir, whatever.
Got him. Oh, damn. I told you it was doable. We just got really unlucky. Okay, I doubt there's anything good he can give us. <laughs> I would love to see this though. Oh, that was a weird hiccup. I would love to see this though. As like a fully grown Esper. God, what the hell would he even look like? Ugh, I don't know. Thing looks really ugly. Oh, they conveniently put an exit right here? Nice. Um, let me look at this map. There's apparently three mega elixirs you can get somewhere. Battle, was it, right? Mm-hmm. Battle. Okay, I see where it is. Yeah, I think the rude thing is you don't really have time to steal from Zodiac. No, you really don't. <laughs> it just kind of says, all right, everyone dies. Oh yeah, this would have been the path, I think, mm -hmm. let me just double check. Yep, you would be correct, that would have been the path. I don't know about you, but I want those mega elixirs. I guess it's not here, do you have to read the note first? <laughs> Enjoy your berserkers. They will unironically be the MVP of your team. Whether oh, you like oh. it or not, they're actually very good. Yep, as long as you get past the sandworm. <laughs> if you get stuck at the sandworm, uh, yeah, I'm so sorry. Got it. Nice, and I have no idea if you have every technique in magic now. Though. I do. I guess you can't tell because that doesn't pop up on the stream. Yeah, it doesn't but, pop up. But, yeah. Alright, we got everything. That's important. Now let's go speed up the final boss. <laughs> speed run the last dungeon? Hell yeah. Hold on. Good thing this convenient exit is here for us. Pretty much. Then we'll be fighting the super bosses tomorrow. Yep, but no sign of Grant. We'll have one, don't worry. We might have an M9. <laughs> oh my god. Probably check licenses. Oh, that's yeah, what true. that's what I get for, uh, from Bushi. That's that doesn't even help me. That doesn't help me. That would have got me Excalibur, without. Totally would have done it too. <laughs> I know. If I didn't would. have Red Spiral. I know you would. <laughs> that doesn't help me. That doesn't help me. That doesn't help. That doesn't help. 
Do I want to give him Durandal and the Simha? That's an mm -hmm. option. I can give him Renew. Renew is tempting. Give her Claymore 1, which sucks. I can give her Ragnarok. Would that be better than the Bone? Uh, let me check. It is... Ragnarok has 117 base attack. So technically, yes. And on hit, it has a 25% chance to immobilize any enemy that's not immune. Interesting. You think that's more worth it, though, than getting Renew? Hmm, that's the interesting part. Like, Bosch getting Renew is not a terrible thing, but then at the same time, it's like, you have Ash in, as your white mage in your main party. So it's also like you can buff up her attack stat as well as on top of her being a healer, but like ultimately it's up to you. I think Ragnarok. I'm gonna give it to Bosch though, because I gave him the thing that's half MP. I mean it's up to you, like I said. Ragnarok's a good sword, but if you need if you think you can use the renew better, yeah. Uh, well it. also it comes down to it, the bone is really silly, and I want the bone. <laughs> All right, Bosh, congratulations. You have, like, almost every Esper. Jesus Christ. The D20 just happened to give you the Bosh combination for, like, to get the most How espers. many Espers does he have? He's got, like, six of them. Yep, sure enough, he's got six Espers. Six out of 13 Espers. Jesus Christ. The question is, do I keep... The Genji glove on Vaughn, or do I give him ribbon? I mean, it's up to you. I'm gonna give him ribbon. Survivability is better. God, this dungeon's gonna go so fast. this cave is very good for experience. <laughs> this is actually where you go for end game grind into 99. I believe it, this cave was the other grinding spot. They have mines and they're good grinding spots. So which room do you go to? What do you think? The one with the dividing enemies? No. Really? You go to this one? The one with no, the stupid yeah. bats? Yes, you go to the one with the bats. You go to the switch. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. By 99 ethers. We're gonna save it. We're gonna finish the game. And then we can just reload that save. Right? Mm hmm. Not too cutscene heavy, the final dungeon, right? Uh, it shouldn't be. It's really probably like the credits that'll be more head cutscene heavy. I'll probably just give my thoughts tomorrow. Oh, 
probably for the best while we're fighting the super boss. We'll have plenty of time. I guess we'll start with the Hellworm. I said the last one is gonna be uh, Omega. Mm -hmm. Cause that means I don't have to leave the crystal. I could just say we're done and never come back. Do you even get any good rewards for killing the super bosses? Cause sometimes they give you something. At that point, uh, it's gonna be worthless. But like, I mean, you gotta get something, right? Well, basically, if you kill Yasmet and and Omega Mark Twelve. You get two ba you, you you get a badge from each of them that on uh, when they die on drop. Right. And the third badge you need you have to do the finishing game, mini game. <laughs> that gives you a weapon, right? Yes, it gives you a weapon that can be equipped by everyone. The weird hero blade. But by that point you don't need it. Not really, although it's really although it is pretty damn strong. What if I told you I could just get 99 of those? I mean, I would believe you. Because that sword is 131 base strength with an 80% combo rate. Damn. It's where do you, where do you look up the combo rate? Oh, the wiki has, has stats listed. Because yeah, I was going to say, I don't think it says that here. No. But yeah, it's a really good great sword. And it wouldn't help me against Yizmat anyway. But yeah, gotta save here. Time to fly into the Bahamut. I kind of hate how worthless the airship is in this game. <laughs> yeah. That's the Bahamut? Yeah. Time to finish Star Wars. <laughs> I see him turning the lightsaber. His greatest enemy. What a wasted character Snoke was. <laughs> Dies. Yes. It's been long enough for we to talk about Star Wars. Oh hell yeah, we're flying in, into a tornado. Awesome. <laughs> this is how you end a game. Heavy cruiser. Our dear Sid, slain by his son. Hmm. A common tale of late. Firing solution complete. Sighting is good. Release valves open. I mean, technically, Sid died because operator. of someone else. Yes. Put an end to this. They have already surrendered. Let us make of this an offering. One he might see even now. Vinal, what say you? The main battery stands ready. I beg you! Fire. Just in peace to resistance.
by this. Once they see that there can be no surrender, the resistance must needs come at us with all they have. We will answer their attack head on and destroy them before the eyes of all Rabanaster. If you do this, the people will only grow to hate you the more. And should I pardon them, they will only rise up yet again. I do not believe they would. In cooperation lies our hope. You are mistaken. You are wrong, brother. And if I am? You had best find the strength you need to correct me then. Ship sighted ahead! A score or more! The resistance fleet, my lord! Hear this! Today we write the first page of a new history. Our history. Each of you must play his part. Put down this rebellion. For Arcadia, we fight! For Arcadia! To be fair, most of the people who are voice acting in this were like British like performers, I think, and like uh, theater performers, I think. So I believe like... it. That was a good time for me to jump into the Record Keeper EXP dungeon because I just noticed it started. It's weird to see this cutscene after so many years. <laughs> oh, why do you normally skip it? I normally skip it, I also just don't care enough to go into the final dungeon a lot of the time. <laughs> I'll be honest, a lot of the time I would start up RPGs, get to the very end, and then I didn't want the experience to end, and I would just leave it sitting there for years. I can't be the only one who's done that, where you just had so much fun you didn't want it to end, so you just kind of. Kept playing, doing other stuff, and then just forgot about it. Yeah, no, I've definitely done that. Happened more than once. Happened with Final Fantasy X was one of the first ones I could think of. I didn't want to go into Sin, I was just like, I don't want this to end. All ships clear. Give word to the cannons. Make ready and fire. Is the Bahamut at least in the shape of a Bahamut? No. And it looks like a Durgan. Or is that our ship? I forget. Uh. It's like, just the one you just there's, saw. Yeah, I think that's the rebel ship. Yeah. This guy looks like a really old version of Hope now that I get a good look at him. <laughs> Doesn't he? Yeah, but he's done more than Hope has. Oh, damn. Said it before I could. <laughs> Uncle, it is I. I'm crossing to the Bahamu to stop Bane. I know because the easiest one to make. <laughs> you are too rash. Your duties come after the battle is over. If we allow them to destroy us here, there will be no after. You must assist our charge. Stop. You must pull back. Stop the strong. Hold it. I mean, wait. This is Lassa Solidor. I'm going in with her, so we're fine. I got the princess covered. Lassa Solidor? So you hold him as a hostage? No, Uncle. He will fight with us against Vane. Leave it to us. Understood. Our fate is in your hands. <sighs> Yes. Like how Vaughn's holding that too for whatever reason. Yep. <laughs> well, I should say that. We're relying on you for fire support. Give him something to think about. We'll pick up. Hey, I got material. Make a move. It is for Princess Sarah. 
I guess I put her in my party because I had a thing for her and I needed people to get to 99. <laughs> I had all these memory crystal threes, so I was like, Ugh, whatever. <laughs> Star Wars ship bags. When fellows, ah, you want to dance? Then let's dance. We're home, Chewie. A new part. It's not easy being this popular, you know. I'm excited for what stupid god demon thing it summons. <laughs> you know what the worst Final Fantasy boss, like final boss I could think of was? Which one? It's probably, what's what's the thing in 9? Like, they couldn't let Kuja be the final boss for some reason, and it just kind of shows up out of nowhere, and it's just like, surprise. Oh god, yeah, Necron or whatever, right? Yeah, I kind of always forget about it, because it's like, oh, I don't really think you ever can beat Kuja, I think he always, like, the, I think every fight with him is scripted. I think so, yes. I'm pretty sure that's the case, because I think every time you get into a certain amount of HP and then he ultimas you and then says, you're left with one HP, get wrecked nerd. Yeah, it's like, okay, why is he... Okay, and then all of a sudden that corner appears, it's like, oh, okay. Yeah, no, it's it's a weird thing. East of Dark Matter, nice. Honestly, well, I, I forgot that Kron existed until you mentioned him. Just That's exactly now. my point. Where it's like, Zero Miss appears at the- Oh, it's one of these shitty maps, damn it. Don't worry about it, there's like nothing important here. I thought you said there was like magic or something. Uh, not here, you already got everything. Oh, there is nothing you in got there? The you got the achievement, remember? Oh, I got the one for Technics, right? Not get one for magic? Mm -hmm. Hold on. There's an easy way to know. Congrats, Vaughn, you have a new gambit. Hold on. I'm missing whatever is after poison. We can go back for it. Yeah, we'll go back for it tomorrow, I don't care. <laughs> it's literally the only magic I'm missing. What is that? Whatever the last black magic is. We're also missing items, but I don't really care. It's fine, we'll get it while, while we go to the super bosses, whatever. Not level 5 Doom! I'd imagine if you can actually do that. <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely need that elixir game. Thank you for stopping by. You get some good rest. Okay, I know which one we're missing. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What spell was it? It was something really stupid, wasn't it? Called Toxify. Toxify? Yes. Toxify. Which, which one is that? It's literally just an AoE poison. Yeah, that sounds not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever. Getting it tomorrow in the, the Super Boss stream. Yeah, pretty much. Who cares? We'll just beat the final boss right now. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll tap him and I'll blow on him or something and then he'll die. <laughs> I'm gonna rip Vayne a new one, and then he's gonna be like, we oh, see I was being possessed uh, by someone. Yeah. Or actually, he won't be because it's, you know, this is the Star Wars. It's... He's the Emperor, technically. Emperor Vayne, they call him. If only I can get a lightsaber.
Ooh, that looks cool. That looks like Alexander a little bit from 14. You know, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, no. Yeah, no, definitely. I can see it. Whoa. This, these cutscenes never are good because they take me out of it. Because it's like, whoa, it's, can't do regular game cutscenes, gotta do the CG. I know, right? I'm excited though for tomorrow. We have to fight Hellworm, Mega, Ismat. Am I forgetting any? Nope, those are the only ones left for you. Depending on how fast that goes, I might have a backup game. <laughs> it's Sonic 3 with meds. No, maybe. Could be. <laughs> Depends. It might be Spelunky. Because, the resistance you know, fights their battle well. We dare I have to fuel that addiction. We dare not <laughs> Stop True. worrying. We just have to clean up here, and then Ash will be the queen. It's kind of hard to believe. I can't even imagine trying to rule a whole kingdom. A queen you can't even imagine being in this game as an important character. To raise his bounty of pay. <laughs> I doubt our queen would need the help of any sky pirates. Do you really think me as strong as all that? Who said anything about strong? You'll make it. You got good friends. Oh, also, I'm here. <laughs> oh, vain. Final Fantasy X? I already streamed. Ah, uh, nah, I, I ain't restreaming that game. That's clearly Final Fantasy VI randomizer. Oh, this is a cool looking enemy. What are you? Homerook? That randomizer was such a good stream. That it's archived. Whoa! I just got really chunky. Oh, Jesus Christ. What just happened? They're resilient. Oh, hey, it's a CPU core. Why are they moaning when they die? That's like really uncomfortable. Hey, man, machines have to make noises too. Judge Magister. Oh my god, he lived. Got a limp? Come on, this is gonna Even be easy. Disgrace. My just reward. It's not too late for you to turn Darth Gabranth. Come on. Gabranth, do not blame yourself anymore. You could turn, you, you could take down Vayne, you could throw him off a cliff or something. Come on. Oh you were to protect. Yet you still hold on to your honor. How? I had someone more important to defend. And defender I have. How is it that you have survived? Is it not because you defend Lord Larsa? Silence! All was stripped from me. Only hatred for the brother who fled our homeland remains mine. Oh no, I, I said earlier, like a couple minutes ago, that I'm doing post-game stream most tomorrow. I do as I must, brother. Or is that not answer enough? <laughs> long have I walked in hatred's company. As long as I can curse your name, I shall not. I love how we breathed on him and he's just then like, whoa, 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 time out, man. <laughs> Wield your hatred and crush me. I welcome it. Oh damn it! He cast full heal. You're not allowed to do that. Blade. 
too late, you gave him the timeout. <laughs> Okay, it's, that was a joke. Tell you your fill of this. I would ask you the same. Let this end. Noah. Noah, that's not nearly as cool of a name. <laughs> it's short for Noah Kin. No right to be called by oh my name. god. From my point of view, the Sky Pirates are the bad guys. It's only one Sky Pirate, though, that's, in the, that's the main character. I mean, hey, he still hates them. Can't even talk to him or anything, he's just gonna kneel? Pretty much. <laughs> Missed opportunity. Could have had some extra dialogue or something. If only. Vaughn, what is that run up the stairs? Is this it? Is this the final boss? <gasps> oh, hey, you're here. Really? That's it? It's just... I bid you welcome to my sky fortress, the Bahamut. I must well, I'm sorry, did you say the Bahamut or Babahamut? Because I heard Babahamut. Permit me to ask... Who knows with these people? Who are you? An angel of vengeance? Or perchance a saint of salvation? I am simply myself. Yes, Thousand Man, yes. No more and no less. And I want only to be free. Such a woman is not fit to bear the burden of rule. Weep for Dalmasca, for she is lost. Observe well, Asa. Watch and mark you. The suffering of one who must rule, yet lacks the power. No. What? After the music cutting out was so good. No, brother. <laughs> that serious music just stopping, just... Though no. I your power, I will still persist. <laughs> Bold words, child. This game, when it tries to be serious, can really fail sometimes. Yep. Oh my god, I was right. He's totally doing it. He's gonna do the change of heart. He's Darth Vader. Yes. Lord. Lassa. Oh shit! Fight time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Poke him. Lives are forfeit, and your insurgents with them. Dalmasca will again know order. This dungeon really was short. Well, this pointing how short it was. Yeah, I don't it's like super short. This kind of why, like, I rarely go back to beating the final boss. Oh shit. Show me your true power. Lord Brother. Lord Brother. Larsa. What? Into it even? I mean, we'll see soon. Oh, 
Holy shit, he got fucking swole. Damn. Yo, I wasn't expecting this at all. This is amazing. Damn it, he got so fucking <laughs> You know what? I should have seen this coming because for some reason they gave him Monk in Record Keeper and I never never thought anything of it. Behold the power left me by our fallen friend. Oh god, you look really ugly. Please don't do that. Right now. <laughs> I am loving how stupid his design is. Just incredibly swole is all they went with. No demon, no god. Gabral, just swole. You will defend my brother. He will have much need in the hell to follow. Hmm. Yes, I will defend Lord Larsa. The hound strays. Treason bears a price. One I gladly pay. Shit, you get to actually fight with Vader. Nice. It's all coming together. This god. is the Star Wars fan fiction. It is. Oh, it's so good. Oh my god, he this is so cool. I love it. No, no, Vaughn, don't go for the swords. Vaughn, no! Ivelisse will know a new dynast king, and man will keep his own history. The tyranny of the gods is ended. We are their puppets no more. The freedom for which we have longed is at hand. I think a lot of his stuff in Record Keeper is either very physical or very magical. It depends on which stat is higher. You can just kind of give him whatever. <laughs> nice. Yeah, interesting choice. Obviously, he's Dark Elemental. Because of course he is. Yeah, yes, of course. Most, most villains are. <laughs> Means they also have access to darkness. Is that it? There has to be more. <laughs> Throw him off the cliff! Oh my god, we finally get to see his face! Just like in Star Wars! And then he dies here, just like Star Wars. I don't really wish they had an original plot here. Could have been a much more invested plot <laughs> rather than just oh hey let me point out that Star Wars. <laughs> no, don't let Vaughn get the final kill. That's not no. Even from a story standpoint, that doesn't make sense. Come on. He doesn't deserve that. You know who deserves that? Ash. Even, even, even the stand was like, nah, bro, you can't do it. Not you. He already is relevant. He has like the best average stats out of everyone. That's the only reason he's in the party. Believe me, if if I had my choice, the party would be Ash, Bosh, and Balthier because they're the most important characters. But Fran is okay not being an important character because she's Chewbacca.
Bond is relevant, I guess, in his own game, uh, Revenant Wings, right? Mm. <sighs> 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 failed us both. I am no dynast king. You must find another, one who might realize your ambitions. They are fulfilled beyond your knowing. The crest is sundered. Age of stones complete. So does this try and set up like the sequel, like direct From sequel game? Ones, the world is freed. Uh, you'll see. You shall not tread this path alone. Together we go. Come. I mean, I had the option to buy it, but I chose not to because I didn't play the game, the original one. I think I made the right choice not buying a game that I had no idea what honestly, was going to happen. Honestly, yeah. I think I instead ended up buying Final Fantasy 3 on the DS, and oof. Good game, but man, is it very unforgiving. Yep, just like 4 on DS is also very unforgiving. But it's really good. I know, right? Oh my god. If I stream 4 or 3, 3 is probably never happening, but 4 probably will be the DS version, the, the Steam version, technically. Oh man, that's gonna be a rough ride. It's a good game, though. I don't know if I'd ever stream After Years. After Years is a game I want to play, but it's just four. Yeah, it's pretty much just four. It's just like, eh, you could have done better for a sequel. It exists because, you know, four is really popular in Japan. Pretty much, yeah. It's the only reason. I honestly can't tell if there is more. I think there is. Shit. Becoming a robot. Oh, wait, really? We're, we're just teleported out here? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and even... Okay, he's hasted. Yeah, now he's a swallow flying robot. <laughs> Amazing. Not of S for better boss to satisfy all of my needs. All of my wants and desires. Damn, it's almost like he's undying. I hate this. I guess he's Bahamut now? Is that the idea? Because no. he just used Mega Flare. No, I don't think so. I mean, that, that's what I'm getting. That's like my take on it. I guess he's supposed to represent Bahamut, but like... I, half of me is expecting this fight to be scripted and not actually winnable. <laughs> This is an actual fight, right? Yes, it is an okay. actual fight. Just making sure. Please, I took out a T-Rex that almost murdered me. I killed the Zodiac, you were nothing? Come on. I 
really wish they had a better final boss track, because this is not something I will remember. Yeah, no, it's really not worthy of a final boss track. Come on, put your paling down. Yeah, we took down Zodior. We must have got here like right after Zodiac happened. He resisting holy or physical? I can't tell. I'm pretty sure it's just physical. Let's test it out. I guess we'll just wait. Okay, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Giga Flare Sword? Yeah. So he is Bahamut, okay. I guess that makes sense because we're on the Bahamut? I mean, yeah, sure, why not? I guess he does have the wings. Got the wings, he's using Mega Flare, Giga Flare. You gotta realize, this is your ship. What about all the innocent contractors that are working on this ship, huh? <laughs> I'm Just like sure in Star Wars. I'm pretty sure this ship is finished. No, it's Bane who's finished. <laughs> oh no, never mind, he's doing his stupid sword. I actually love this OST. I just, this is not final boss materials. Yeah, just in my opinion, it just really doesn't fit for a final boss battle. For a normal boss, yes. You could do a lot better for a final boss. Become a Terminator? He's looking more robot-y all of a sudden. Or maybe it's just that one angle. It's just the angle. What happened to games where the boss would just get pissed off like Sephiroth and just destroy every fucking planet to kill you? I miss those days. Ran out of planets. <laughs> I only do that attack once. Sephiroth used it, that's why he's so likable. They better keep that in for the remake. I'm gonna be real pissed if they take that out. It's gonna be one of the dumb things that it's like, dude, you gotta keep that in, come on. Final boss, though. Honestly, a lot of the music, thinking about it in this game, is very good, but I kind of said, you know, this would be better in a different area. Like, the mist music for the Feywood, I was just like, nah, this. Not feeling it for this area. But it's still one of the better tracks in the game. Where I, I would argue the best track in this game is probably the, like, Snow Area track. Ooh, good choice. It made me feel cold, which, keep in mind it's summer right now, so, like, that's, that's a good feeling. And that was without turning the AC on. Actually playing the escape. I've played tactics. I 
I love tactics. Well, can we fly? No fuel goes to the Glossaire engines. Damn. Ron, you're in charge. I'm checking the engine room. Right. Fran, with me. <sighs> tactics is a is a very good game. It really is. I should go back. To, I, sh I should go back to it. I, I talked about it, um, however many months ago. I was gonna, if I was gonna play tactics on stream, I would just do the randomizer. Nice. You can fly her, Vaughn. Just do it like I told you. Don't no, worry. don't let Vaughn fly. This is the worst ending. <laughs> Tactics is a very good game. Very, very good game. I think one of my biggest complaints with Tactics, though, was you get Sid, and Sid is... As his name implies, a god. And then immediately after you get Milia Duel, and it's just like, well, I have no use for you. Sorry. <laughs> Already got the best character. Yeah. By the point she gets introduced as like a character on your team, it's just like, I, I really wish you came sooner because I probably would like you a lot more. I <laughs> think Record Keeper exists for that. Yep. It's the stroll. She's left Bahamut. She's moving away. The stroll. They made it. At last. The Bahamut has fallen. The final test is upon us. The judges shall rule us no more. Main cannon on the Alexander. This is Judge Magister Gabon. All forces cease fire. I repeat, all units of the Arcadian army hold your fire. The battle is over. I knew that. As of this moment, we have signed a ceasefire with the Shelly of Anargan del Masca. Good, good way to have a throwback to the start of the game. <laughs> I like that. Attention, this is Larsa Farina Solidor. My brother Vane has died with honor in battle. The Imperial fleet is now under my command. With honor. Sir, your orders, sir. I don't know, he died, uh, pretty horribly. This is Ashelia Delmasca! The Lady Ash, thank the I'm pretty sure his body, like, goddamn melted. Yeah, no, he's- he's just gone! There's nothing left! Remember the end of part three of Jojo? When Geo's defeated, it just, like, it- it just says on the screen, utterly destroyed? That was him! <laughs> yep, that was me. A new day has dawned. We are free. Until tomorrow, when we have to fight Super Bosses. Yep. <laughs> I guess the sword would be, that you were talking about, would be useful for New Game Plus. About it. I mean, yeah, pretty much. I guess that's that's the good thing about doing Super Bosses. For my purposes, I don't have time to play yeah, exactly. a game more than once. I like playing different things. The Bahamut must not be allowed to fall on the city of Ravenaster. We are preparing to wrap up. Can you at least on New Game Plus do you keep the same job or no? Uh no. I don't I'm pretty sure New Game Plus is just like giving you the stats of a level ninety, but that's it. Gotcha. Like you have to actually do every do, do over everything. That's fair. Better curiosity. Did we fight that judge? I forget. So many judges. Wait. You said there was a girl judge and she like died early. I remember that. You yeah. fight her in the trial mode. Do you ever get to fight that guy? I forget. I don't think so. No. So he might be in the trial mode too. Fun. Yeah, all the judges are in the trial mode. Those things. So it's like. Eh. It's one of those things. Like I said, of uh, it's probably cut content that they said. Yeah, hey, you know what? Let's do something with that. Yeah, pretty much. I'm not doing trial mode. Not interesting enough for me. Uh, it's pretty much just like the Kingdom Hearts, like, exactly cups. You get to keep items from it, which is cool. No need to worry. This is also true. I hope you haven't forgotten my role in this little story. I'm a leading man. You know what they say about the leading man? He never dies. Oh, I'll, I'll do it pretty easily. 
Yeah, no, the only reason this game feels pretty big is just because it has a lot of side questing. There's more side game than there is actual game, and I kind of feel like this is one of the game's weaker points, is that it feels like they knew the story sucked. I really get that impression that they were like, this game isn't good enough for story alone, we need to have something to hook you in. Oh, I know, hunts. I'd say you're in more of a supporting role. Fran, please. That was a good line. <laughs> Movie captures the sexual tension of Han and Chewbacca perfectly. Stroll's in your <laughs> You'd better take care of her, you hear? If there's one scratch on her when I get back. Oh, that's that's one for the cold spot. Oh my god. I'll have to do this. In a moment. That's the thing though, but like in my opinion, it's not engaging, like, if it's not engaging, it's not really a good story. I agree. Like, it, if it's a, if it was a good story and it was engaging, then yeah, oh my oh god, man, it'd be Pinello, great. Oh man, I like your design here. Actually, also her design in Revenant Wings too. Is it? Mm -hmm. I'll probably put that in Record Keeper at some point. I hope so, it's a really good costume. I really like Balthier. I really like Bosch. I really like Ash. I like Fran. I don't care for the other two. They really didn't need to be here. I'm glad they get their own game. Where they, you know, they do stuff. Yeah, pretty much. Ash's coronation is next month. She grows farther and farther away from us. But I guess that's how it has to be. She is queen now, after all. You know, I was gonna joke earlier about how this was gonna be the end, was someone telling a story of what everyone's doing. <laughs> Yeah, I've heard that story before. It's something I find hard to believe, but I know it's stupid enough that they actually would have done that. Yeah, at the same time, as you go through the story, you kind of can tell, like, they really didn't know who to put on the cover. Ash. Ash as, is like, the main the character of this game, easily. <laughs> oh, I haven't told you the most important part. Vaughn and I had been taking care of the straw, but it was stolen. We had just finished having her tuned up, too. Is this the lead in for Revenant Wings? Basically, yeah. It's a note from King Mickey. <laughs> I 
actually stolen might not be I feel like Vaughn could be a good character but here's how you do it. You have to make him suck at the start of the game, and you have to make him grow into a character that's likable. Well, we have how he starts normally, and it's just like, mm. Like, him starting out as the character he is now would be great. Which is to say he's the same character at the start and end. Well, apparently Vaughn was able to get an airship. Well, I mean, we knew that. He had a sequel game. I'll be going <laughs> too, of course. Every good sky pilot needs a partner, right? It just feels weird for Pinello to be the one telling the story, because it's like... I mean, this is like the only thing she did all game. Pretty much, yeah. So, I assume this is where the credits kick in. This would normally be where I would talk about the game. We're gonna do that tomorrow, though. Because I have a feeling things are gonna take a while. Yeah. Going through the Super Bowl will give you a good enough amount of time to talk about your thoughts, honestly. Yes. Uh, quick summary, though. Good game. Plot sucks. Characters are mostly good. Great soundtrack. I would still say 8 has the best soundtrack, which is funny because I actually hate 8. I really hate a lot of the stuff in 8, and I really like a lot of the stuff in 8 as well. But damn, does 8 easily have the best soundtrack? Oh god, it's, a, it's such a good soundtrack. Oh shit. Yeah, it is. So many songs I could name from 8 that I'm just like, oh yeah, I could listen to that right now. And with the machine gun, what's the name of... I think it's the music in the starting area? Oh, can't no. think of the name what's of it. What's that called? Force Your Way is another good one. The, easily, if we're judging by just name of song alone, the best song in any Final Fantasy game is Under the Rotting Pizza Stains or something like that in 7. Oh my god. It's the, one, it's the one in the slums, and it's actually a really good song and it sounds really depressing, but the name is so good. The name really is really good. <laughs> I unironically like Mystic Quest. I think Mystic Quest is a good game. It does exactly what it needs to do. It is the entry point in the series if you really want a game that is very easy to get you into a turn-based RPG. Yeah, absolutely. I like how enemies take battle damage in that game. I like that a lot. The soundtrack is very good. That game gets a lot of shit for being too easy, and I really think it's unfair that people say that. Yeah, like, it's meant to be easy for a reason. Yeah, no, it was made for people to get into turn-based RPGs. Oh, hello, you're really alone. Don't forget you were rexed. <laughs> yep. Like, one of the things that I always found hilarious with Mystic Quest, and this is just so funny because it's like, his actual full name is Benjamin, because they wanted something easy for Western audiences, which is fine. But, here's where it gets stupid. You can't fit his full name into the game, so they just call him Ben. Oh, Ben. Good old Ben. Who is not in Record Keeper and probably never will. I could dream, though. One day, I mean, one day they'll maybe add Redis. I want Redis. The character. He also has the shrug, and the shrug is amazing. Uh, eh, come on! <laughs> we 
Yeah, I forgot how Sid has a hair. To say, are those schoolgirls? And they, they totally are. I thought for a second, judging by the art, I thought it was Bosch. And I was like, whoa, Bosch. You changed a lot. And then I realized, like, right before he said, I'm like, wait, no, that's just Al Sid. Super bosses will be fun though. <laughs> well, Legend of the Seven Stars is also a decent entry point, but I feel like this thing, like, I, I disagree with Legends of the Seven Stars only because. Really? While it's a good point, it's a very different kind of thing if it's your first one for expecting things, you're gonna... I would say you're expecting things like the... You know, the action commands. Mm, I guess that is true. Not to say that it's a bad starting point, I just, I don't think I would recommend that firsthand. No, you definitely have a point, but like, yeah, that's the reason why... Mystic Quest is also just really good for any, most RPGs, honestly. Well, maybe even, you know, like if I were to recommend like a game to my grandma, you know, maybe I would recommend Mystic Quest to her. Oh my god! Hey Miles, yo, thank you for the follow. Made it for the... Pretty much. <laughs> hey, John DiMaggio. <laughs> Little John DiMaggio. I forgot he voiced Miguelo at the very start of the game. <laughs> and then there's Backgammon with Steve Bloom. Never noticed that was Steve Bloom. Should have known when the hunt was called, you're gonna carry that weight. It's a missed opportunity, though, that they never ended up putting the Vera in 14. I know you said it had to do with their feet. Yeah, that the they're, feet like, models. That they model them or something. Mm -hmm. I would just say, who cares, and just make them have normal feet and call it a day? I mean, the minority who care will be like, how dare you do this? They evolved, okay? Not even the <laughs> same world, technically. Oh, I love six. Six is see Final Fantasy is hard. A lot of people say like I know I've talked to Mayo about this, and he said for most people your favorite game is the one you play first. Don't know if I agree with that. Twelve is so different from any other game. It's hard to even say this is a good Final Fantasy. It's a good game, but I don't know if I'd really say it's Final Fantasy. That makes sense. Definitely Since makes sense. It, it's in the same way the MMOs aren't really Final Fantasy games. I would almost say I would consider like one to ten to be more like yeah, these all feel like Final Fantasy. Where this, I could probably get away with telling someone this is Xenoblade, <laughs> and they can maybe believe me if they didn't know any better. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, no, they, they clearly wanted to try something new after I, the success of like I love that. and stuff. Yeah. No. Which is cool, but like, just some things don't stick, which we see with like the fan base in this and this particular title. And we got 13, then we got 15, and they all play very differently. Yep. 
I'm excited to play 15. I'm never playing 13 or any of the games in that series. I really like 5. I love the Fiesta. The Fiesta proves that you could beat that game in literally any combination. I really yeah. like 6. I really like 7. I really like 9. I love 10 as well. 4 is great. There is a lot of good ones. It's really hard to pick. Hell, a lot of the things I like about 8 is like the world and some of the characters. It's just a play is really weird. Mm -hmm. There are things that could be improved on 8, which would make it a really good game. Maybe my favorite. Honestly, Medic, if you can get through the intro, that would... I highly recommend 9. It is honestly a good title. It's like every other RPG intro. It sucks. Yeah, exactly. It's boring. I Having recently also played Kingdom Hearts 2 here on stream, again, that's like my sixth time playing the game. My god, do I hate the intro to that game so much. Oh god, yeah. Especially, this is like the first time in forever I haven't skipped the cutscenes in Kingdom Hearts 2, so going through the game and just sitting there we basically spent an entire stream in Twilight Town. I was like, oh my god, this is so boring. Please let me get to the game. You just gotta be willing to invest, like, three hours, maybe? I know that sounds weird for a game to get into the good parts of an RPG, but, you know... Really, it's set up. It's like how I would tell someone with JoJo that basically the start of like the series, the, you know, the first nine episodes are basically kind of set up here for everything else and maybe not reflective of the rest of the series, but, you know, if you stick with it, you're gonna really like it. Yeah, definitely, especially with JoJo. However, we are done for today. Yep, and a couple of hours after we get a good, a good amount of sleep and other things, it's time for the super bosses. Yes. Part one is good, but it is so different, it's hard for someone getting into the series to really say, oh man, this isn't what I've heard about, you know? Exactly. Like, if you see every meme, the the only few memes you really and see Geo. from part one is the deal thing. And, and goodbye JoJo, that's like the yeah. only other one. Yeah, and the other ones are just stands and all, this, all that other crap, so it's like, mm. <laughs> Yeah, I'll have fun. I have done way worse around here. I I like super bosses. Age marathon. I've already streamed one. I've already streamed two. Maybe after Fiesta, I'll do Birth by Sleep blind. I've I know the story of Kingdom Hearts because I don't care about the story in Kingdom Hearts. The story is so stupid. But I've never played the game, so. That'll be interesting. I, I could not get invested in the Kingdom Hearts story. That's one series that I know I'm like, I'm never going to get invested in the story for this. It is so awful and so boring, the story, that it tries way too hard. Oh, we streamed Chain of Memories. Lucky you remember we streamed Chain of Memories, right? Yeah, we streamed it. Yeah. We forgot about it, though. Exactly. Yeah. The VOD for it, mysteriously missing, because, you know, we we forgot about it. I don't like Chain of Memories. It's... It has potential to be something really good. Where, essentially, they had these really cool ideas for card game mechanics, but none of the boss fights are interesting. If you take out all the card game mechanics, they're normal boss fights, whereas... It's not until, like, the last chunk of the game that it feels like 
these boss fights actually feel like they were made for a card game. Like Marluxia with his Doom and stuff. Right. And the Riku mode is really fun. But again, it feels like a card game designed part of the game, whereas everything else is just like, well, we kind of took the boss that already existed and then just said, here you go. It's it's not good. I don't want to play that game more than once. Is why we forgot we streamed it. And I don't have a PS4, so I'm not playing the other games. As much as I would like to, and I have a 3DS, but it's not worth me getting Dream Drop Distance for the 3DS. No, especially considering it plays better on the PS4. <laughs> yep. You know, we'll return tomorrow. Will be time for super bosses and maybe something else, depending on how long that takes. Yep. Good night.